in me, Muse, and through me, tell the story of those people, skilled in all ways of contending, the Dragon Lords, harried by fate and prophecy, sing of the cities they saw, of the minds they learned of distant peoples, and weathering many bitter nights and days deep in their hearts, uh, while they fought to save their homes and lives of all Thylians. Of these adventurers, Muse, most sacred of daughters, tell us in our time, lift the great song again. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Oathsworn, Odyssey of the Dragon Lords, here on Neon Lights Roleplay. Um, I am Turk or Turk accented if you are also hit with whatever strange late spring fever cold that has struck us. So forgive us if our tones are lower set this evening. Uh, all, of, all of the NPCs have uh, just decided to be talking in a lower growly voice and maybe coughing up a lung. Uh, <laughs> So, um, yeah, we've got, a, we've got quite the uh, adventure to catch you up on. We are finally back full strength of the table. I'm so excited. Um, and I, I guess without further ado, without any more introductions or delays or other sorts of uh, holding offs, um, why don't we kick off the uh, intros? Because I have an intrepid group of storytellers here r around our, pro our proverbial fire, ready to uh, entertain you all to the Nether Sea and back. So, beginning with the one who begins all things that are intro y. And oh, look at this. Look at this full, full fucking TV screen, folks. Anyway, um, kick us off, Comrade Crash. Tell people who you are, what, who you're playing tonight, what path they walk. Um, and if anything jumps out, stuck with you from last session. Yeah. Hey, hey, I'm Comrade Crash. My character's name is Leo Dracos, the human paladin, Oath of the Dragon Lord. And he walks the path of the Vanished One. And anything that sticks out is just, you know, no, I did. No, never mind. Uh, I held hands. You held. All right. Only thing that uh, happened that episode. Oh, yeah. Right. Besides, you know, other, you know, uh, family uh, drama. But yeah. I'll have to teach youngins uh, their place. But mm. uh, let me pass it on to, uh, uh, to, to Farah. Hello. I'm Chrissy Kurtz. I'm going to play Deferra Damas. She's our Medusa Warlock. She walks a path. It's one of. A haunted person. Uh, I forgot for a second again. After I had done so good, I had to take a minute. Um, what does she remember about, or what do I remember uh, as memorable, or she remem remembers as memorable in last game? Hmm. She's very specifically requested that one person on the team stop calling her family. Just because it's getting weird. That's all. Next. I think it's Heck. It is. Hey, everybody. It's me, Sir Heck a lot. You know, I'm here. I'm on your screen. And I'm also in the lower octave tonight because I caught the sick as well. Uh, but I'm going to try my best because that's the best I can do. Um, but as per usual, tonight I am playing Calliope, the um, College of Epic Poetry Siren, who walks the path of the... Dragon Slayer. Um, it's been a minute. I it took me a second. Um, I'm trying not to lose my voice. I can I can feel it going, but I'm gonna soldier through. Um, for things that I remember last session, we took some new people on board. Um, Calliope drew a dick butt on the statue of Sidon, so that was great. Um, and then uh, what else did we do? There was like a weird like fox thing that um that calliope talked to in a mirror and i was just like you know we can pick this up later um <laughs> so you know pretty eventful session um but uh yeah no that's me and we're back to the return of hp yeah hello, hello <laughs> everyone i am the last hippo hero and tonight i will be playing thrinos the siren sorcerer who walks the path of the dimmy titan uh yeah that's 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 it that checks the boxes those are the things over to tony oh hi i'm tony i'm playing eliana lazid the high elf prophecy cleric walks the path of the gifted one the most memorable part is that i got this nerd's 
goddamn book. Um, I already forget his name because he's unimportant to me. Uh, Chondrus. Maybe mm. Gaius? That was the name I put in my notebook. <laughs> his name is Chondrus, and he's the, uh, the weird, uh, child man servant thing of, uh, Lutheria. Priest, but sure. Sure. But that, that's a word. <laughs> Not the word I'd use, but it's a word. Um, so pass it on to Corndog. It's me, Corndog McGraw. I wrote these things down so I'd remember what I am. Uh, I'm playing Borghild Halharn, the Amazonian ranger who walks the path of the Lost One. Uh, and what I remember from last session is meeting a guy named Oath, uh, who is maybe an artificer, and he arrived in this area via an airship, so he is also confused and lost, similar to me, and I'm gonna fuck him. Back to you, Turk. Bam. Okay. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, Alright, uh, so yeah, last time uh, complete, the Hyar heroes completed their siege and plundering of the uh, Isle of Yonder, um, the headquarters of the Order of Sidon. Uh, now, in the Great Library, they find themselves with a number of tomes, a new hostage, so very willing hostage and um some prisoners uh so well free prisoners so uh yeah uh i guess we'll we'll kick off there um i had mentioned in the last episode that uh there was quite a bit of uh potential loot in um in the library altogether, the, there's a variety of ancient tomes and history, histories and other such uh, uh, worthwhile uh, texts. But to carry it out would be quite the effort. Um, though altogether, it would likely be around 100,000 gold pieces. Uh, uh, is, yeah. Uh, is there is there any plans on on bringing that out, or are you just sticking with the um, like uh, the ten most valuable books would probably just be worth around a uh, thousand gold pieces each? A thousand gold okay. pieces each. Oh, yeah, it'd be ten thousand gold pieces. I we should definitely think... grab those. Yeah, because I don't think it's feasible to grab a library. No, I don't think so either. <laughs> Yeah, no, but I did so ask my friends. owl to go get our artificer friend to see if there's anything here that could help him fi figure out how to get an airship working. Uh, uh sure. Um, Oath will bring uh, the, the babbling old man that is Enigma uh, up there and begin going through uh, some text and stuff. Mostly, it seems like he's unimpressed, or or rather. Impressed with the depth of the collection, but not the breadth of it. That um, the set, like he will find like some reports and things that he notes are probably taken from his interrogation, uh, noting that that was probably the only information on uh, his particular designs that uh, the uh, Order of Sidon would have here, given that the. No one here has this kind of technology. But still should all be up here. Just need would need material and time. What kind of material should we be looking out for? Well, I mean, lumber, metals, uh, certain types of uh, propulsion. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm just like amazed. I know the type of camera that HP has, and I love it so much. Uh, it's tracking. Um, <laughs> we went on an adventure, and it was I, the best. <laughs> oh, wait, it gives it the last one. But uh, yeah, he mentions, like, you know, 
he goes through like lumber, um, me- um, ores, ores to melt down into metals. Um, it would be a large scale construction uh, and would probably take a number of days, uh, maybe even, you know, his best guess is uh, basic propulsion engine, assuming he could find all the parts he needed here. Uh, it could even take like a month. Yeah, this sounds like this would be a task for after we either save the world or die. <laughs> well, hopefully they don't die. That would be... I mean... There are Make... faith worse than death. No, all right. I guess. Um... Like being a statue. <laughs> you know what? That's fair. Um... So yeah, uh, he'll 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 take the notes just so the order side on definitely won't continue to have any kind of record of of the capabilities of his crew. But um, if you grab your most the ten most valuable books, they're ornate and very well designed copies, original treaties and um, histories written firsthand uh, from uh, detailing like a lot of. Um, magical treaties and uh religious you know uh as well as like some historical and and warfare things like very detailed first-hand accounts of like the first war and um the pre uh in in, like pre uh, emergence of the dragon lords and the five and you know the rise of daria from these first-hand accounts and this kind of very important uh touchstone uh collections if you're not wearing gloves while you handle them, uh, someone's gonna be angry. Kind of, kind of situation. But they're still relatively, you know, fresh here, so you're fine. So yeah, um, heading back. Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Because it's just like, also kind of like putting it into perspective, like the things that our ship has been through too, I don't think a bunch of, like an entire library, if we managed to get it on there, would fare very well, at well, least. To be fair, it was fully repaired. Um, it is, to some degree, magical and enchanted. Uh, it is haunted, but in a cool way. Um, True. So... I actually do have the stats. You can take on 120 tonnage. Uh, Ooh. I, I do. Yeah. I have, I have a. I have, for no reason whatsoever did I double check the stats of the Ultros. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. No. 100, 150, there's, there's 150, no other reason. 150 tons of cargo capacity oh my God. Uh, and uh, crew capacity of 100. So. Plus you all. Uh, and you need at least 50 people to maintain a regular pace on the oars. Um, but yeah. Uh, so, we'll just assume you grab all the uh, very important stuff. Um, yeah. And um, begin making your way back down the mountain whence you came. Uh, passing by evidence of your victories and getting back onto the beach where your uh, landing party has held down the fort somewhat. You see a few... Other patrols uh, had come through and been delayed here, but primarily uh, you're able to get back out uh, should you wish it. And I'm gonna put us back on on this while I change up the music a little bit. Um, <laughs> thanks. Listen, that's a cool screen. I so you start hearing people sing uh, Moonlight Bay. <laughs> No, but uh, you do make it back out to open water. Uh, and uh, yeah, basically, you're free to, you obviously celebrate and cheered by your crew. Um, and you're able to link back up with uh, your buddy, Trenos, who does he, uh, you see the robots coming back in. Any anything particular you'd like to do first? Theranos will just wave from the ship side and 
point out some animal chasing a rabbit around the corner of the uh, the beach over as you guys are approaching. <laughs> Oh, we missed one of the lions. <laughs> Wasn't that a different island? That's all right. They all kind of blur together. How did uh, how did everything go? Honestly, better than expected, considering how many people that they had in there. That's good. We had uh. A little bit of excitement back here at the ship, but bought them off too, so everything ended up fine. Good. Any, uh, anything of particular note? Uh, well, you know, we have a little bit of a development. Um, has, has Chandra's made it onto the I boat? assume, I assume he has been... Uh, helped or hauled up at this very moment, uh, and he'll, he'll like stumble under his own uh, two legs. But um, yeah, you do see the blue regal-looking tiefling you saw in the throne room of Mitros, um, the high priest of Lutheria, um, in uh, in binds. So it went well, then. Gesture toward the priest. Well, I'd say so. I think your he opinion is particularly right. What? Why? Oh, well, I'm going to help you, you see. I'm going to be your ally. Sort this thing, whole thing out between you and Luteria. Oh, ally is a strong word. Asset? It's so pretty strong. Well, I feel very strongly about it. Well, I'm glad you all made it back. I, uh, I missed you. We missed Go. you. All, all of you. Went, uh, went really well. Here. Anyway. Uh, what was your name again? Uh, <sighs> Threnos. Right, right. Um. Part of me likes to think that Borkeld is like taking notes on like her hand oh, or yeah. something. Anytime I pull out a notebook and start doing <laughs> this, this is things that Borkeld is actually doing. This is incredible. I have to document what the fuck is happening because I don't know what's going on. <laughs> we also got to... to catch up with. It's understandable. Place is weird. Place is weird. And the ship's haunted. What's that about? And put it in a good way. The, 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 the spectral captain Mykonos, uh, Mykonos and Estokos, rather. All the Opos is in my head mixed for a second. Um, <laughs> Manistok Manistokos. Yeah, uh, Captain Manistokos uh, will kind of like drift behind Borg Hill and just like seem like fake offended like it's not weird what's that about and what's that about why turn, turn around there's nothing there just wind in the wind <laughs> definitely <laughs> weird but that can be a good thing well we also procured a piece for the antikythera device to get deeper into the seas that's good it's very good so, any leads to a new destination while you were away, then? I believe there was a question about a certain cult of Helios that was mm -hmm. answered. Uh, the Garden of Helios. Mm -hmm. um, which you can now explore, given that that was in... Um, the uh, Forgotten Sea, and thus far your Antikythera device can only navigate you through the Cerulean Gulf. Um, so, that was just my reminder as your DM, but I'll let you all communicate that as players, so. 
So we do know how to piece this machine together then? I think it was shown um, to you uh, by uh, uh, by Valis. It's literally a button that like opens the compartment and you just slide, the, you fit the gear in and it kind of like allows a larger rotation and working of the machinery. Though so you also do have a, a Jenkin on board, um, who they are they are master craftsmen, um, particularly in regards to clockwork. Uh, so, sure. if you want him to make sure that's hundred percent working, you can just let him toy at it for a little bit. If it's a planned upgrade and there's still an open slot, I suppose we might as well just stick it in there and reboot the thing. I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I mean, it seems pretty straightforward. We could have both look at it too if we're too nervous about it. I should not be the one in charge of that process, though. To be real <laughs> honest, I don't know what any of this is. I'm sure it's pretty intuitive. I don't think Queen Valis would give us something so obscurely difficult to work with without know appropriate ways to handle it and if if it does seem difficult i can always ask her if she knows specifically what we have to do would be very out of character for the gods to make this complex i'd say I thought we're out here. <laughs> well, you're just on the deck of the ship. I he did assume. Yeah. very. He did very well while you were all away. Oh, goddamn right I did. Wait, <laughs> me damn right I did. Um. Hmm. Was it me damn me? I honestly don't know. So I'm gonna <sighs> go see if it is like intuitive as I am hoping it is. Yeah. That's yeah. Push the button, throw the lever, turn the crank. And it happens. goes. Pop it open. The um, wrong lever! <laughs> yeah, a laser beam. Shoot your face. Um, no, I... Yeah, it's it's a simple enough uh, piece that um, opening the mechanisms, you can see where it is currently kind of passively maneuvering a large portion of the kind of uh, gears and sprockets are not being interacted with currently. And you can see where uh, you could kind of fit in the piece, the, like various, like one big piece and two small ones sort of things to um, set it up and just kind of slotting that in. Uh, it wouldn't take an immense amount of like accurate timing just to like have it fit in slightly so the teeth are all aligned um, with one particularly uh, pronounced spot and the entire thing seems to now be working and um, Carmel was lightly pulsing uh, in your hand with the uh, flow and spring of uh, gears and magic. At least there's that. Do we leave right away? How's everyone feeling? Yeah, I think so. Let's get away and in case they try to send uh, dragons after us or something. That's a fair point. They largely know where we are. Wonderful. Well, batten this down and get going then. All right. Uh, calling your uh, sailors to action, you begin maneuvering your way out of port out of uh, the kind of bay and out into the open ocean of which uh, you know currently is just calm winds and a quieter evening a nice break from the hard fought combat you had all just gone through I'm gonna find another song so bear with me but uh, yeah if there's anything anyone would like to do at this point feel free um Uh, you do, of course, have to let me know where you're interning your prisoner, as well as if anyone would like to do anything um, with uh, 
Enigma or Oath or anything that I know what some person wants to do with Oath, but that is. <laughs> do we have um, a rig at all? Uh, I'll slap you over on the map of the Ultraos. Uh, not necessarily. <laughs> um, you could probably, you know, stick him in, like, the captain's quarters or something, um, and convert that into a sort of brig, given that no one here is needing, like, a personal room at the moment. Um... Or you could, uh, you know, just choose one of the storage nooks or whatever and uh, get some folks kind of set up a sort of uh, stock. You could just use the box chain. that I was kind of shipped in momentarily. Didn't you break it, though? No, I just opened it. Oh. With force. With force. So, like, it's gonna need, it's gonna need some touch-ups, but, like... That box is, in fact, available. We could and, just... like, if it's easier, we could just turn, turn him to stone. We have the way to unpetrify him. Or at least I... somebody did, but it spilled on my face. I don't know if you have any more, but... I think that would partially be breaking the oath of peace that we made with this man. Yes, uh, you were supposed to treat me very nicely. Well, that's also subjective. I mean, not cutting off your hands is also very nice, right? There would be absolutely no harm that would come to a statue, isn't it? Of course, you just would need to make sure that I'm unpetrified when you go to speak with Utheria. To be fair, though, guys, the atrophy that set in was kind of bogus. So, mm -hmm. like, that part's not a wild ride. Oh, and there's hardly anything left to me. But how long were you? Petrified for? Did you determine that yet? I think a we did. A number of years, I think. Yeah, it was a number of years, not an extravagant amount. Um, Something like ten, I think, in the yeah. of like ten. Yeah. I think like they accidentally got the prophecy a little bit messed up. Uh, well, no, uh, you would like the prophecy was uh, given, and then they. No. Mm, Nope, I think the prophecy was messed up. Uh, but anyways, uh, I just got here a bit earlier. That's all. All I'm thinking is that was years for you to atrophy. We're talking about at most the 50 days before the Oath of Peace ends. Or we could chain them to an oar. Ah. <sighs> Uh, what do you consider being treated nicely? Well, the interpretive element of an oath, truly. I'm fine in whatever uncomfortable position you want to try and put me, and I'm truly in your power. I know things start out rough here. Do you mean? But... Do you mean... No. Never no, mind. No, no, you know. He's my hands. So my massive. hands are. My hands are bound. No, I'm no, without no. my spellbook. I can't do anything to you, and you can do anything you want to me. What you did you all do that. to this guy? Um, it's more like he kind of gave himself over knowing that he couldn't win in a fight. Um, well, yes, but there's giving oneself over, and then there's... You have to remember, who is he a priest of? The crazy dream bitch. Yeah, Lady of Dreams. Listen, of course he's gonna be incredibly smart. And trick off. No matter Bobby. what we do. So. But now he just needs to be guarded. Certainly. Easily done. Quick Although question should... since you're like a person of the Lady of Dreams. Do you yeah. have. Uh, any good psychedelics or recommendations in that veins for dream in dreaming? Yes. Dreaming? Well, uh, I could recommend a few things. I could theoretically cast a spell on you, but I believe your seer friend here already has a number of uh, herbs and 
material required to enter a sort of trance-like state. I could smell it on her. Which one of you has been holding out? My things are not for that purpose. But could they be? Mm, if how you exactly to is the, them, but how exactly is the prescription worded? <laughs> oh my god! I'm... In a way that is only used for my purposes. I will say that he he will also cut in. You could, of course, go to the um, Lotus Eaters. The what? The Lotus Eaters. The Lotus and Poppy there is... Well, you could speak to the Lotus Witch, and I'm sure she could cast a spell on you. Nope, take him. <laughs> yes, uh, she's on Scorpion Island, last I remember. Something to approach with caution, Don Keeler. There is nothing a servant of that Titan says that can be trusted. I mean, they haven't done me wrong yet. So, still new That's here? the key word there. Uh, if you have more questions me. about I Scorpion can't... Island, we actually do have someone from there. Oh, God. Who's from Scorpion Island? It's full on. Our full on. God. The sad god? <laughs> no, no, that's Pyro. Full on's the centaur. Full on's the centaur. Oh, Josh, the like, that couldn't shoot it... anybody. Mm. Hey, <laughs> crap boy. Hey, he did really well the last session. He hit three times instead of yeah, just two? Yeah, something like that. We he broke hit, a like, record. It was yeah, like six, and he got like a kill. Full so on he ended up getting a crit. Full on got a crit. So hey, Glad y'all remember himself. more I than I did, and I played him. The first, first session I was gone, he did not. No, <laughs> yeah, no, he did. He, he was, was, was he was present. So many As natural the ones. That he He's very much the and I helped. Mm, <laughs> I'm doing my part too. I uh, so yeah. Can we get much? But a it's constellation honest. page for making a decision. Oh sure. Because I also forget which place we have been to already. Too. Sure. Um. So you just went to the guy again. Uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta put my typical check mark. In you gotta there. do your check mark. All yeah. right. It's very satisfying. And let me, let me turn to the page, my pages with all of the explanations because you are looking under the constellation. Um. Uh, the chariot would be the one that the would... The chariot came up. What was this island's name? Oh, uh, uh, yonder. yonder. Like, like over, over yonder. yonder. Yeah. Yep, yep. I... Uh, so, yeah, the chariot would bring you to, uh, the Garden of Helios, and, um... Uh, for free, the centaur will bring you to the bring you to Scorpion Island. Oh, that's oh, right. Scorpion that doesn't one. take you to Scorpion Island. No, oh, the scorpion yeah. takes you. <laughs> it, goes to, it goes to the void. It has no name. Well, no the scorpion. <laughs> the scorpion is part of the centaur. Which is weird. That's more I like see. a manticore. They're well, fighting each other. They're fighting each other. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. You can um, see it. Uh, I'm also so tempted to go to the spear because of stupid things. What does that mean? I have a spear collection. Oh. I gotta add the constellation to my collection. I Man. am General Grievous here. I don't know. Oh, I yeah, don't know 13 oh, sounds like too oh, high a level for us right now. Collection. Well, that, that is a place you can reach now, because uh, those areas are uh, with your new advanced anti-camera. But, you know, it might be dull. It might be hard to do. Um, so, yeah, we do have 
options. Um, I know at Helios it just it offered me the Fortress of the Dragon Lords for my prophecy. That seems oh. seems like that would be a good thing. And I know I think Heck said there was something else there for Calliope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um and then we have to find a way to help out the volcano god and fire island. But that's later. I'm open to suggestions. This over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. What yeah. folks. I, mean, I think the most natural conclusion is to go to the chariot, but that's just me. Chariot would seem to make sense from what you've just said. Garden of Helios. I hardly know her. <sighs> anyway. Helios, <laughs> well, I heal you. But, anyway. Uh... <laughs> All right. Uh... Do we know how long of a trip it is all the way down there? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's a Wild. bit of a ways. Um, it Yellow might Island. it might take three to four days, depending on the weather, I believe. I will have to double check that. Um, okay. But uh, it will give you time, basically. Um, I know someone made a very advanced uh, travel thing for this. Um, I just got to hunt it down. But in the meantime... I, uh, yeah, with the Antikythera now more, um, fully capable of, uh, showing you the way, so to speak, I uh, the line that guides you is even stronger and more pronounced. Um, Captain Minostokos, uh, gives the call for, uh, oarsmen until they get a stronger wind. And, uh, you begin moving at a clip. I. Uh, it seems as, as night encroaches and, uh, the oarsmen are slowly kind of being shifted off, um, allowing the sails to take the full wind here, uh, that you have as much time as you need. Is, as we have had this conversation, I'm assuming standing in front of our new prisoner and our two other visitors? Question mark? If you uh, wanted them to be uh, there, um, I mean, Oath would probably just be looking to, to sit somewhere where his hands aren't bound um, and like checking out the whole ship. Uh, and uh, Enigma uh, will go wherever you put him and talk about the. Um, incredibly effervescent vessel that uh, all my friends are full of, and there's 50 feet of rope in there, but it tastes like soup. Defero's going to take that guy, the Enigma, uh, and our new friend who is in chains, and find a room for them to share together, uh, where she can just attach a, a you know, enough room to like move around she's not trying to like put him in uh stocks or anything um enough so he can like you know just move freely a little bit at least mm -hmm. uh, and we'll make sure they get food and like drinks and things like i understand he's probably not the most well-liked person on the ship but she's going to not do that. She's gonna, like, make the trip at least semi-enjoyable. Get him a glass of wine and some snackies. Uh. And uh, at least 
just get him settled somewhere and just give a quick don't do anything to make us me particularly regret this uh mostly because i think there are a lot of people on the ship who would just toss you over the side and i don't want that and you don't want that so certainly not i think our purposes are very much entwined and i'm very grateful careful with the wine it's sneaky and she will set some wine down with a couple mm-hmm. glasses so and you're giving this to chandras and then also setting up uh oath and um and enigma in i'd say probably the captain's quarters could be converted into a multi-bedroom thing for y'all if you need some more like private areas at this point yes um cool so yeah, uh, don't munch away happily. Um, it seems that uh, Oath has already begun taking down notes and uh, diagrams and plastering up on the wall, and um, Enigma has done nothing, but will um, stare at the wine and kind of bring it to his lips um, and sort of sip at it very lightly. Um, if you'd like, you can make a medicine check to figure out maybe what's going on with Enigma here. I'm going to put this on a little bit of a different vibe. There we go. Ah, yeah, no. Doesn't seem all uh, Definitely no, and he's just not well. He's got sunburn, sun poisoning. He's not well. Torture, he clearly has had a rough time. You don't know where he's from or what his deal is, so, like, maybe this is a normal for him. So, yeah. Uh, anyone else doing anything? Is there at any point um, that Eliana is, is is kind of by herself, just kind of doing her own thing? Uh, uh yeah. Yeah, I'm actually, because I was about to say. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think um, Calliope would try to strike up a conversation with her during like, one of those times. Is she doing anything in particular? Um, she will have her, uh, her child in her lap as she kind of, like, is getting ready for a divination spell. Okay, um, yeah, whether she has to, like, open a door or just kind of, like, walk in the vicinity, um, she probably kind of see Eliana start like setting this up and everything figures that this is probably the best time before she actually goes into trance um and just sorry to interrupt what is that? to hold up like a bottle some engines no 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 the um <laughs> And she just like she makes like an egg shape. Uh, this is a dragon's egg. Well, well, well yes, I'm, I'm. I think I've surmised that, but when when did I have a lot of questions? Ask them. Well, I I guess the first one that I just cut off of. When when did you get this? Uh, a few days ago. Okay. Um, Kira gave me a very opulent looking. Almost like a tote bag that compresses in a way, or oh, I guess in the opposite direction than compress, that can hold this egg specifically. Um, and I guess it was given to her by. Shit, getting her name. <clears throat> Queen Vallis. Oh. So it sounds like. She's had it for a while, then. 
I didn't really ask her how long she's had it, but I'm afraid of keeping with this poor thing in there, because I feel like it's a sort of stasis for it, and I don't know if that hinders its growth or ability to hatch, or... And then she'll just kind of shrug. Well, probably, but I'm happy for you. This is big. It's a bit nerve-wracking. I never thought I'd have to handle this kind of responsibility. Yeah, I don't think any of us did. The fact that we're all prophesized to have one, I, I don't even know how I feel about that yet. It was one thing to see snippets of the future of things to happen that have happened and are going to happen for this, for us. And it's another to see what strings were plucked and what came to be. That does sound like a lot. Have you looked know. into what might become of... She gestures broadly to the direction that we've set Chandra's up in. I have not looked into that. I... Honestly, I'm surprised he's even still... You know... Breathing, I guess. That's fair. I, I know we kind of talked over you back there. I, I apologize for that. It's... Okay, it was a group decision. I just, I have strong feelings towards the lady of dreams. I just kind of snarkily say. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I, I think we all do. Um, I, I hope that decision doesn't, you know, make it sound like we've forgotten about what we found in Mitros, what we found in that basement, what he himself proposed that we do in response to the storm. Exactly. I... His yeah. information's useful, especially getting close to someone who can essentially attack you in your sleep in a very twisted way. I just still don't trust him to just bring us to her and be fine. I feel like it's a very obvious, I brought tribute sort of situation. Yeah, he's just a little too smug about everything, huh? Far too much. I'm surprised his head fit in the room. <laughs> and I, I think Calliope does laugh at that. Um... Yeah, I, I don't know. I hope it doesn't come back to bite us too hard, at least. I don't foresee it being like that. But... Ah, so you at least have a hunch. Hmm. There are so many unseen possibilities. But some things make it easier. I still don't know how Vessi sees so clearly. I did see that breakup coming. <laughs> yeah. Pain. Like, I'll like <laughs> I don't think we know about that. Or do we? I don't remember. We were all there. No, we were all there? Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, I think... I know we were all there, but I don't think anybody else was, like, really awake. And then we just find out that she's pissed. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Leo did say that they were like not uh, an item anymore. Okay. okay. In a in a vague way. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I think I think we were <laughs> the collective brain cell intelligence to put two and two together. Yeah. Um, I know that there are ways to make it more clear, but doing... It's a monumental 
task to try to get clear visions. So I can understand why Vasi was where she was. I don't know. I have a bad feeling we have a lot of consequences coming our way, and I hope we can weather that. Well, we, we've been doing fine so far with, you know, everything that's happened. We've been island hopping quite well. We've talked with... I forget her name. Pentamain's lady. Oh. Do you just mean Thylea? Is it that? Because for whatever reason my brain's saying that's not it. Yeah, the tree. Okay. Um, we've seen Thylea. She told us about, you know, her offspring. We have information on the two that are an issue. As well as two other that still live that we could possibly recruit to our side, should we be able to help them. One of which we technically were by that's been strangely visiting my dream. That seems new. I don't think you've told us that. Uh, well, it was strange. At first they're coming to me as a as my grandmother. And then come to find out when we're on Fire Island, there's a strange connection beneath the volcano. And once we met with Thylea in her tree, it kind of clicked together. I see. The one that can run faster than the rest is the one hidden beneath. The one that spoke to me. Must be ironic then, the one that can run the fastest is now trapped in one place. Is that part of why we're going to the chariot? From what I was told to where the chariot is, is the Garden of Helios has something. to describe it is called the Fortress of the Dragon Lords that I feel would be advantageous for us to have. Um, I'm not exactly sure if it's a literal fortress, if it's figurative, or anything, but... Eh, at least some lead is better than none. Also not the only thing there. Oh. Do you remember that um, giant plant that we had to fight? With the strange hippie teenagers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, those. Yeah, because they were also the Helios individuals, or mm -hmm. like a, a cult with that Seda. At least when I read in the library. Probably more of that there. This is the Garden of Helios, after all. Right. We don't find more of those teenagers. Strange. They remind me a bit of Folon, but at least Folon has a few more brain cells going for him. <laughs> Maybe isn't completely indoctrinated. don't exactly know what to expect, but I don't think anything regarding Helios is good. Well, that was kind of the point of what I was setting up in here. Which kind of like gesture to the bits and bobs that she snagged from that fucking temple. Yeah! <laughs> um, I plan to see if there's any information I can gather before we make it then a few days. That'd be really helpful. Well, hey, 
it's good just to talk and if you need any help with the gestures to the ritual or gestures to the egg um the rest of us would be happy to help i hope you know that i do i'm currently just trying to figure things out as much as i can on my own i don't even know what to begin with this one i know Thranos is sitting on his in a crow's nest, which is about three different levels of irony. <laughs> uh, but, and Leo's is hatched. But I don't know where this one's... I don't even know the word for it, but whatever to help it along would come from. I don't know if it needs heat or cold, if it needs light or shadow, if it needs... I don't know. Yeah, I think each one has its own... I guess trick? I guess trick is the best word for now. Needs? Needs? That's a better word. Well, only yes. time and trial and error will probably tell. Raising children is just a matter of figuring out their um, their abilities and uh, you know what their AOE what's attacks their are. Block? Yeah, what's the stat yeah. on them? <laughs> uh, what what iframes do they have? Uh, what what parry opportunities are there? I think that's in. I think there's a uh, some some guidebooks in there. <laughs> you can like no clip through a bathroom wall uh, and just skip to graduation. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, I. Uh, I can assure you, every walkthrough does not apply to your situation. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, Chloe people leave Eliana to do what she's gonna do. Anyone else having a conversation while that was going on? I would be flirting it up with Oath this evening. Uh, but I would also like to stop by Bad God before I go over to Oath. Okay, uh, Pythor is amongst the- Bad Boy. Uh, Pythor is amongst the oarsmen, uh, just hanging out. Um, everyone else is like having a cup or uh, having a, like a their their um, personal serving of uh, wine for the evening with a small bit of you know, like a kind of stoopy gruel sort of thing, a little bit of meat and veggie in there, but mainly it's gonna be a thin thinner broth. Um, so with a with a, with a hunk of um, keepable bread and probably some of the apples well like probably some uh stuff hunted from the uh golden heart uh but yeah he's chilling out uh hello sad god oh uh i'm not remind me of your name sorry it's been it's been wild that's uh that's a new way to call out my name uh sad is not usually the adjective there uh, but it's pythor what would you prefer the adjective there to be well m my pantheon is strength and war and combat so uh, I suppose something that falls more within that. Um, I'm the god of battle and such, so... Your Borg guild. Yes. Yep, you got it first try. Good. I'm impressed. Uh, I always am working on remembering names now. Not being in a haze really keeps the mind sharp. I mean, but being in a haze can also be a good time. 
just gotta look at the perspective about it. Oh, of, of course, but I made a promise, you see. Like, one of the oath promises, or just, like, a promise promise? Like a pinky promise, or like a your soul is forever altered within the cosmos kind of promise? Probably more so the second one, um, but a little bit of the first as well. Uh, Do you mind if Thrinos ducks in during this? Sure. It's dinner time. Everyone's coming guy by to get their, their soup. Uh, I've... Hey. Asked him to stop drinking. I was a lot. And it was quite a headache. For me, at least. Afterward. Or everyone around him constantly. Hey. That's... Rough. It has been difficult. I think that's the best way to describe it. At least that's what I see. Ithor can tell me if I'm wrong or projecting on him and the others. But I think especially him. What happens when you take a god of such power and strength, the domain of war, and then force him into a place of peace? You sure you haven't been talking- you didn't talk to any of those academy wizards? I feel like I'm... No, but it's something I've been thinking about recently. Well, um, as much as I enjoy having my life analyzed, um, if you do have... Hey, to, yeah. Just so you know, what you're doing is real cool. I'm glad you're able to do that for yourself. Eating soup? No, uh, taking a break, uh, on behalf of your friends. Oh, um, thank you. Yes, uh, something's up. It's hard work and it sucks. It comes with certain rewards. People think better of you, and he does look at Threnos when he says that. Some things are more important than belligerence. It's easy to hide behind loud comments and all that comes with it. Well, While you're not who I thought you were when we first met, I am certainly glad what is... Well, certainly glad to have had you here around. I'm glad I could have been there. Pretty sure you would have been taking a salt bath and I not kept that masked up, right? Very true. No, but, uh... No, it's important. There's a kick in the tunic I think I needed. Borghild, things here are... They're tough. The gods can be frustrating. No offense. No, I feel like they're frustrating people. everywhere, man. Yes, but... A whole lot of power, but still brain the size of a thimble. No offense, Pythor, it's just... Well, most of them are quite clever. Again, no offense. Well, yeah, Pythor. you can still be clever and also have a brain the size of a thimble. Yes, but I mean, there's also ones that are both clever and wise and... Very good advice, constantly supportive. There's a variety. There are, there really are. The, the tough thing, though, is really the Titans in all this, because it's the Titans that have put the gods in this terrible position. And while, yes, I have expressed my frustrations with what the deities have been trapped in, it's the Titans taking advantage of it that's the problem. Given free reign, I am certain Python could have dealt with this years ago. Him and the others. But there was the oath of peace. For whatever reason, these Titans and Gods 
the Titans are leveraging it. Lutheria, Sidon. They are a problem here. Not objects of curiosity, but those of school. I know Sidon especially. He's my father. <coughs> and I can say as his son, he is a problem and he needs to be. I'm gonna... Sorry, uh, news alert, breaking news for me. Yeah, you're a child of a god. That's what I was told. Titan? Yes. Of a, like, a divine being? Like, not I... this tier, but like this tier? Or like... The exact you know? cosmology of gods and titans I'm not entirely clear. Don't look at me. I mean, I guess I am part of the equation, but I wouldn't be able to tell you. That it might be something for Peter or Valus. <sighs> Sisters are always smaller than me, but I hit harder. Question for you, Pythor. Uh, do you have the ability to impregnate? I have a lot of kids. I was actually told that I was his son. It's How many kids do you think you have? You see this look where I think you've genuinely asked him a question that he's been like lightly ruminating on for a bit, but he's like, I have been alive for a, a while. Um, and I'll just say a while. Um, and, uh, I. I don't know. Uh, I love all of my children, uh, even if they turn out to not be my children. Uh, but uh, the ones I do know, um, I try and take care of them. Uh, Nora, my one daughter, um, is currently uh, leading the story of the city I was king of. I yeah, I probably won't go back to that. Maybe. Had to stop her from being sacrificed to Titans. Oh well. She also stopped herself from being sacrificed a little bit. Absolutely. Being called a child of Pythors. I mean honestly it's something I think every village has at least a couple. They do well enough at a sport some other prestigious quality at some claim that can be made for them and yes not all truly are children gods but some are look where not everything about us is divine I mean I'm not some ascended being just because we have godly powers And to the gods' credit, they do recognize their children, at least when they're in their presence. Do the Titans recognize their children? I mean, as far as I'm aware, Sidon and Lutheria have had kids. I think Sidon might have had some other people, children by other mothers, but, um,. Yeah, uh, I think, I think so. Yeah. If you're wondering about me, specific, then yes, Sido knows. And he also knows exactly where I stand. I've stood in the middle of more than a few thunderstorms, you know. 
the sky. Impressive lung capacity. But I wanted to share that with you. I know that a lot of this is new to you. I noticed your curiosity with the herbs of various servants and those sorts of things. And I would just urge caution. I will keep that in mind as well as I can. to achieve dream states, but I certainly trust one of the various servants. I'm gonna be real honest. Uh, I hope I'm not here for a long time, but I do hope I'm here for a good time. Well, I'm starting to pick up on that. But we are glad you're here. say to me? I have an egg to sit on, excuse me? That's pretty accurate. I now understood what he meant. Dragon eggs. Why are mm -hmm. you sitting on them? Why aren't dragons sitting on them? Uh, why are the other dragons? I'm taking care of what's been interesting to me. You're doing right. a great job. Thank you. Have fun sitting on your egg. That egg looks quite healthy, I do have to say. I've taken a peek and checked it out. It just seems to be good. Thank you. Gives you a good smile and a nod. And it seems like he almost kind of moves his shoulder to give you a pat on the back, but decides against it. make my way back to the crow's nest. Uh, and while you're walking away, uh, I'm gonna give uh, Pythor the finger guns and be like, if you need someone to sit on your egg, well, let me know. Uh, and then I'm gonna go find Oath. I don't have an egg. Oh, sex. It was a euphemism for dick. <laughs> and she's just gonna walk and find Oath. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, like I mentioned before, uh, um, you might run into, um, Tefera, uh, bringing out a tray of stuff from the room, uh, and, uh, Oath is in there again, like, drawing up diagrams and kind of making a somewhat, like, workbench, kind of like a little draw, writing desk sort of thing, um, just to sketch some things up and pinning things. Um, with a bit of tack onto um, the side of the hall here. Hi, Oath. Uh, oh, hello. How are you? Uh, great. Uh, especially now that I know that you know possibly a way to get us out of here. Uh, I want you to know you have my support in every possible way I can. Uh, I'm not very bright, but I am very resourceful. So, just, uh, I would like to build an airship with you and leave this place. Oh, perfect. Well, At some point, like, probably after we save the world's Ark Covenant, I mean, I'm yeah, not from really sure what's... Well, I've been hearing you're, like, destined to do that. I think there's some right. more weight here to prophecy than in other places I've been to. That's the vibe I'm getting by the way all these people talk. Uh, Oath seem very serious here. Yeah, well, hence my name, uh, I chose this name. Right. Well, uh, let me know what help you need in regards to building an airship. Or a way home. Or off of this place that we live right now. It's been cool here, 
but I don't like how serious a pinky promise is. It makes me nervous because I make a lot of those and I don't tend to keep them. Hmm. It's a very nervous to say words here. Well, you've got to be careful what you say then. Yeah, because you could get fucking turned to stone for years. I'll note that down. It's not a good time. Atrophy's bad, my guy. Hmm. Actually, you could help me with something right now. Perfect. Um, and and he goes, if you could just here. Um, and he like goes over and like puts puts his hands like around yours. He goes, I need to push you against, put your hands against the wall really quick. Yeah. And he kind of turns you around and then sticks, uh, puts your hand to the wall. But then he's like presence, and you'll kind of feel him like step away. And from no, the other I side. i back to reach for him with my hands. Yeah, no, you find empty air, and okay. then you hear, uh, all right, you, you should be good. The, it should, the tack should have just stuck to the, the hull now. And you see he's kind of got this line up now across the room. What's happened? Uh, basically, you he like put a piece of small piece of tack in your hand, had yeah. a little bit of rope in it, like a string, and then he had you push and hold it up onto the onto the ship for him so he could get it across. Yep, you're welcome. Thanks so much. I'll let you know if I need anything else. And I'll let you know if I need anything else. And Good. I'll just go and walk away. Bye. He's a crafty one. Yep. Got me good. He saw what you wanted and he got what he wanted out of it. Um, <laughs> he sees the sin in your heart. Um, I want him to. <laughs> um, I think what we're going to do is we are going to move to a short break. But before we do that, I will say that as you are all like coming out of your scenes here or uh, moving on, climbing back up to the bird's nest. Um, there should be the first one, uh, to hear, I guess, those, since you're going up. Um, you will, uh, uh, from the, the lookout, will, will, will shout, SHIPS OFF THE fort, PORT BOW! Double checking my directions. Um, yes. LOOKS LIKE MULTIPLE OF THEM! Uh, and Monostokalus will call to stations because, as far as you're aware, you should be the only ones out here. So, I, uh, yeah. As, as you see and look in the distance, not one mast, not two masts, not three or four, but ten and growing. As it seems, a fleet is pulling it toward, it's making its way towards you all. We are going to hit a quick break here. So, Michelle, uh, everyone, uh, please give yourselves a uh, quick little break as we will do ourselves. If you are like us who are sick, please uh, take the time, medicate yourselves if need be. Um, and uh, enjoy because we are going to be right back soon to deal with the, these things. Um, and it should be really fun. But uh, yeah, uh, shell, if you could, please take us out. <laughs> please load. Um, we good? Uh, all right. Welcome back, everybody. I uh, hope you were taking care of yourselves because it's about to be pretty tough sailing. Allow me to read an excerpt from the good book here. The wind picks up and the ocean waves grow choppy. On the horizon, you can see dozens of white sails. It seems that a fleet of ships is moving in your directions, uh, moving quicker and faster. 
as they come closer, you note that the size of the ships grows immensely fast. These are no normal ships. The oars are the size of tree trunks. Uh, they appear to be giant warships, uh, probably crewed by the giant race, large sized races that serve Sidon and Lutheria. Uh, you had heard tell of the, you had seen depictions of the fleet of Sidon, and now you're seeing it come down onto you. Uh, so, I assume everyone's moving to stations and no one's uh, sitting around or anything. No, we gotta, we gotta act. Oh no. All right. So, uh, how this is gonna work? Um, you should have control of the boat. Let me know if y'all don't. Um, yeah. But I'm going to assume, unless you all uh, want to somehow fight hundreds of. Um, Oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, well, about 34 ships worth of Gigans and automatons and Cyclops uh, and whatever else is on those ships. Uh, your goal is to get to the other side of the map. Now, how you're going to do that is you can tell me how you're going to move this ship faster, um, and uh, I will tell you how fast you go. Um, I have a set base speed of how fast your crew is going to move you. And I have a set base speed for how the enemies are always going to move. They're going to have numbers, but you guys can really bump up your speed pretty quick. So, um, we can do this intro order. We can just kind of popcorn around if you like. Uh, but, I mean, basic things that I can say, if you just want to say you're helping row extra hard, you can make a strength roll. Or if you're trying to uh, push folks on, you can make like a charisma check to help guide the rowers and, and, and um, encourage them. Uh, but if there's something else that comes to mind, please let me know, and I'd be happy to hear it. Yeah, quick question before we start. Did we take a long rest before this, or like we just full sending it? Uh, say with leveling up, I'd allow a short rest to have occurred, okay. uh, given the amount of time. Uh, part of the way up to the crow's nest, I probably drop back down and uh, head down to the rowing crew to try and persuade some extra effort from those stroking the oars. Leo yeah. Jones, he's got it stroking. All right, everyone's down there stroking. Uh, I stroke. Instruct and encourage in a persuasive <laughs> manner. Stroke me, stroke me. All right. Uh, well, there, yeah. Um, you make me some rolls. You may think that this ship moves itself, but it is you that truly pushes oh. us through the waves. Nice. Alrighty. Good, good, good. Watch, I don't know. Like, you, uh, since you're a siren, I think this could technically be using your voice and therefore invoke advantage if we want to crit fish. Up to you. Oh, that's I right. It's already a pretty good roll with a 17, but I mean, uh, you never know. Yeah. If it's if it's something you can just passively do, I'd say why not. You. People want to listen to me. Normally, what? sirens are dangerous to sailors. Shit. All right. Well, 25 is still better. Um, okay. <laughs> so I've incorporated those. Uh, Leo, you're having some trouble keeping um, the same pace. Even though you are strong, this is not you being too weak to move the oars. It is a matter of you knowing when to pull and push, um, and, and, and applying, and if like you pull too early while the others are still getting in place, and um, that's causing some difficulties on your particular oar. Um, Short, quick strokes, long and slow, Leo. You mean my left or your left? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love him so much. <laughs> Um, alright, anyone else? I'll give y'all a chance to do something. I would like to aid using my cute little owl companion, uh, to, uh, look through their eyes to give our, uh, our crew here the easiest directions on, like, what looks like the smoothest water. Like, there's a swell there that we can follow. Oh. Mm. Just things to aid them. That's not sure. necessarily me having to row this boat because I have different arms. Very strong, <laughs> but only by physics. Um, 
Why don't you make me a survival check of sorts? If that works. If that's what you were vibing yep. with. Fifteen. I can't remember if my owl gives me anything. I think the owl is its own stat block. Yes. But it would be you uh, helping Manastokos and whoever, if anyone else wants to help guide the wheel navigation crews to um, get an extra view on things. All right, sounds good. Um, I've got uh, three more folks who could potentially pitch in. Yeah, um, I would like to conjure an air elemental to put some more wind in the sails. Ooh, I love that. Um, yeah, so that's just a simple matter of, that's a one action thing, right? So, perfect. Uh, I'll just auto count that as a success. Yeah. Uh, do, and that. All right, I got two more if you folks want to join in, or if you're building up something, or if you just want to pass this around, totally fine. Um, <clears throat> I, ha I think I have something, but it's. I remember. I gotta remember names. I, I'm, it's been a minute. Uh, who are you right. thinking about? Where's Steros? Uh, Steros would probably be um, either below deck, uh, like amongst the storage, kind of working on stuff, or if you needed him on the oars, you could probably call him to the oars. I don't know. He doesn't seem too bothered by any calls to action. Like he's kind of uh, one of those dudes who's sort of in his own world. I'm gonna need Pythor and Bullbug uh, at the oars. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, they were they were already there. All right, because what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna give the both of them uh, the bull strength enhance ability by casting it at third level. Ooh, very nice. Actually, fuck it. I'll give it to Leo too. We got a fourth level spell slot. Let's get all three of them. Perfect. They have advantage on strength checks, and the carrying capacity is doubled for an hour. All right. Uh, and Deferi. Um, infinite boys. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> uh, Deferi, is there anything you'd like to do? She is the least strong person in this group, pretty sure. Uh, so and it's a race. She's not She's not necessarily going to hop on uh, helping with oars. Uh, for this round, she is actually going to go ask our new friend who is chained and part of Utheria and... Uh, yeah, Ch Chandra's. Chandra's. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she's going to go down there and ask him, what the fuck, dude? Uh, did you call them? Because what the fuck? And we will throw you fucking overboard. Uh, but also... Do you have anything to help us get the fuck away from them, bro? Rude. I mean, no, I, this is not my doing, and from the sound of things, it sounds like he found Sidon's fleet. Oh, I mean, I'd heard about it and seen a few of ships dock um, in, in yonder, but never really contributed much to it myself. They all work at, they all mainly work out of praxis. Not my party, not my scene. Uh, I'm really no use to you without my spell book, though. Part of the whole helpless prisoner bit. Yeah, the good luck prying that out of Eliana's hand. Uh, well, so I'd say yeah. more good luck to you if you want me to do anything useful, but, you know. Yeah, okay. I just didn't know if you understood. Okay, never mind. Not helpful. And she will just go back upstairs. Very well. Fine. I will make sure I shout that at Eliana, though, by way of, uh, hey, I think that our new prisoner could be helpful, but you have his spell book, so he can't do anything without it, but your ball, your court, it's your spell book now, for all I care. I don't know, just maybe in this moment we could use the help, but who knows. And then she's just gonna go start to try to give some solid pep talks to the team. Uh, would you like to make a charisma, or do you want to just save that for next round, and we'll we'll say you checked in on Chandra's this time? All right, perfect. Okay, with that all together, uh, you all 
can move and, your, and scoot yourselves a total of six spaces. So not like full length of the ship, but if you want to inch yourself up by five, I think if you just hit one up, you know, like with your arrow keys when you have it selected, it should function as a way to move it. I feel like all of us are nervous that as soon as we do that, someone else is going to. <laughs> yeah. I'm a dedicated person. <clears throat> I did it. Is that all six ahead? I think so, but someone also moved it before I touched it, so... All right. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, you these be uh, nice to us. Two, <laughs> it's my birthday. Three, it's your birthday. You <laughs> gotta you be nice to me, it's my birthday. Two, three. Birthday. 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 I did their headings as I call for the uh, next round. This is just a current detachment of ships I can add more in if you want to. I'll do That's that okay. actually. No, you make a good point. I should add more of these guys out. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it'll be fun. Uh, as a reminder, your ship does have a bout. Uh, um, Palestine. No, uh, Scorpions. Um, on, uh, port bows, uh, uh all, all the corners of the ship. That just doesn't make sense, but you know what I mean. What is the range to that first ship? What kind of distance? We, are they, are these, like, 20-foot squares? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd assume. Um. I don't remember how long our ship is. Oh, gosh, you know, it, it's... The thing is, uh, your ballastai has a 480 foot, um, like, max distance, so you can shoot pretty far if you wanted to start deterring, but, um, the thing is, their ships are really tough, so it might not even do any damage. Like, you know, your ship needs to, there's a certain, um, damage threshold that an enemy would have to get through to even register damage on the Ultros, you know, that probably affects them as well. Uh, but yeah, if you'd like to continue to encourage folks on. Uh, that is definitely my most likely place of helping. Uh, hold on, get down here, you're needed. Clop clopping down, horse moving through rougher waters. You'll note is now that you're out of the, um, out of the cerulean gulf, I. Uh, there is uh, much more difficult waters uh, here. Even without a storm present, the winds are much more tempestuous. Um, all right, uh, all right. This one from Tyrannos. Uh, anyone else? I'm gonna keep uh, on trying to or row. And you have your uh, and you have your strength, full strength. So Come on. plus four. <laughs> oh, plus four. Ooh. No, it's advantage, is it not? It's, it's advantage. advantage, yeah, sorry. It's advantage, I'm, yeah, yeah. I, I have a weekly That's... Pathfinder group, so... Oh, I see. <laughs> it's a uh, bull strike, which would be plus 40 or score. Anyway, uh, so 15. advantage, all right, 15. All right, maybe that's good enough, maybe it's not. You will are finding more uh, uh, ease and, and uh, with the added strength. Uh, more guidance, absolutely. Others, others. Um, okay, I'll just go. Um, Seth, I already started playing this loot to cast up the elemental. I am going to try to play along with the beat of the drum for the, uh, for the oars to kind of, like, amplify that sound and make it, like, a more synchronous effort. Absolutely. Yeah. Give me a performance. Okay. Strike it into their hearts. 19. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Don't mind me dying. Uh, Differ, I mentioned that you were gonna cheer people on. You wanna make me a roll for that and then we'll head over to Eliana? Correct. What am I rolling? Persuasion? Uh, yeah, what, if, you, if you feel like Intimidation? Am I scaring them all into working? If it was, if, if, if that's your tactic. What you if I'm this works for you. shouting loudly at the other ships? To, you know, just kind of... 
Uh, well, that's another thing, but you'd have to maybe get a megaphone out. God bless. I haven't rolled higher than a nine today. That's a so... performance. Oh. Isn't that what we just said? Uh, persuasion. Persuasion? It's not gonna be the fucking same. Oof. Okay. Nothing wrong there. Um. <laughs> okay! Uh. Eliana? Um. I'll go to Chandra's. Yes. What magic can you cast that would help us with your little book? Hardly little. There's really no amount of time. When I hear probably... about talking about the size of your stupid book, what are you capable of doing to help us? Cause a little bit of chaos for the enemy ships. A good blockage of some sort, just to give you some extra time. You'd have to trust me, though, and I'm not, you're not big on that. Well, I know that you're going to trust us more than you're going to trust Sidon, because I'd probably just kill you on sight. Mm, She'll maybe. toss Emma's book. And he'll, pull, he'll catch it and then hold out his hands to be unbound? I mean, instead of unbinding them first, I'm going to grab that part of the rope and take him with me. He's okay. Gotta, yeah, he's got to be top then. You're pulling him up? Uh... Okay, uh, let me just go through really quick because we had Thronos on the Persuasion, Leo on the Strength, Borg Hill on Survival, Calliope on the Performance. All right, uh, that's going to be seven spaces for y'all. I have a quick question. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The role of the Survival, but I wanted to ask, uh, oh. how big is this ship from stern to bow? Oh, um, big. Uh, <laughs> Give me a, give me a, um, second, but quite large. Why, uh, what, is there anything in particular you were thinking of, of doing? I was just wondering how much Pass Without Trace being cast on that ship could help. Uh, it might, I. Uh, it's already kind of, uh, it's to be interesting. Do is dumb enough to do it regardless of if she knows it works or not? Uh, I think she would try to help move, or help the ship move quietly. Maybe it'll throw them off if they're like, whoa, we see like 80 people rowing, but we can't hear them, so they must not be rowing that hard. I don't know. She's just trying. She's trying, but she's looking through her owl eyes while doing it, so she's okay. doing her best. Um, how, how far is the... Um, 30 feet. Okay. It's a 30 foot sphere. Oh, it's a bit bigger than 30 feet. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Cool. Um, I could bring you back to the other map quickly, but I'm, I don't want to explode Michelle's computer. Uh, so, um, it, but it is considerably large. Um, well, the people within 30 feet of me all receive paths without trace. All right. Just to keep it quiet. That The, the, the ship groans considerably less uh, around you. Um, but, yeah, you can move yourself seven spaces. Okay. All right. We've Wait. I had moved us, don't worry. You moved us? Perfect. Yes. Thank you. Um, start this round. What I need everyone who is working the oars to do is make me a uh, another strength check um, as a large gust of wind will be fighting against your ship for the moment. Um, trying to... Okay, but could I argue maybe doing a strength um, a strength check for the arrow? Yes, too? I was also thinking, okay. yes, also do that. All right. I got to find it. I got a 14. How 14. Strong is air elemental? Air elemental versus the air. <laughs> the wind. Uh, okay. Not like a horrible strength, but like not great. <laughs> Six. Well, it tried. Out of what? Six. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, this turn. Um, your overall speed will be reduced by one, as uh, you are having difficulty fighting against this blustered wind. Uh, and I need to move the baddies as well. One, two, three. Uh, heh, heh. It's fun for me. But, y'all let me know what you're doing. Uh, just so that I'm not doing the same thing over and over again, are they close enough where a confusion could reach one of the lead ships? Um, or do I have to wait? I, officially, it's 90 feet. 
But they seem to have cast a windy spell on us, so... It'll be a spell. Weather out here is pretty tough. Or it could be something else. It might just be the wind. Um, but uh, if you want to hold that spell for if they get close, I'd absolutely allow that. It depends, well, see, that's why I was asking how far they were, just because it depends on how close they are and to whether uh, do that. All right, let me, let, me, let me look at something real fast, because I'll do some math for y'all. Never, <laughs> never say I don't do none. Uh, all right, so Ultras from tip to tip is about 250 feet. Um, okay. So, 20 feet here is about 250. Okay. The lead ship's about, about double that and some away. Alright. 20 is 250. Yay, math! Alright. In that case, uh, I will continue. I will either continue words of encouragement. Because the only other thing I have that can affect the ship is stuff like shape water, which just is a... I don't got enough oomph. Mm-hmm. Um... And it, it's a... Well, how about this, just so I do something a little different. Uh, can I... Can Arcana help me take a look at this wind and see if it's natural or is being imposed upon us in some way? Really? We'll do that. Should not have tried that. Eight. Unfortunately, no. Uh, you aren't able to make heads or tails of this wind. Um, it's obviously quite blustery here in the sea, so, I mean, seems possible. Um, all right, other folks, what speed shall you achieve this time? If you're just doing the same thing, you feel free to just roll that. You don't need to, yeah. you know, revisit. Yeah, we're going to go for it. Yeah, I learned my lesson. I'm not doing something different again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, no, our rolls suck now. No. I ah, cursed shit. the round. I cursed the round. The ah. whole round is cursed because of me. Oopie. <laughs> this is Sidon's fault. Oopie. I roll on. Um... Doodles. I will undo Chandra's binding. Ah, oh, isn't that so much better? Um, and uh, and he's gonna hold out a hold out a hand. Uh, as soon as they get a bit closer, well, they'll have something else to figure out about how to hit you all. Oh, go on a bit of fate. Deferra's out there like, we might die if you do, and that would generally be seen as an ungood thing. Everyone's like, what is the what the fuck? <laughs> well, that's a performance again. Dingy? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like rowing, like boom, 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 and you're like, baby shark, did 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 did. Uh, okay. What's Unless really you're... frustrating about this is that uh, Deferra is supposed to be really good at this shit. Oh, uh, you know, it's performance rather than your uh, persuade. Well, your performance persuasion are very similar. All right. Uh, so, uh, Elian, if you'd like to do something on your turn other than just escorting up Chandra, so you can also do that. Unfortunately, I did not take control of water. Because who would have thunk? That who would have thunk in, in a sail campaign? Yeah, right. In fact, future future ideas. Um, I don't really have any other magic that would be useful. So. I don't know what to do. Other than I guess manning one of the uh, the world. helping helping help oh yeah I guess if you want to try and take some take some warning shots or something I, I uh, that might uh, help a bit but why not improve the speed? Well right now I don't have a way to <laughs> I've already got three gentlemen uh, with enhanced strength for an hour. Mm -hmm. 
So here's hoping they can handle that while I handle this. All right. Uh, that all being as it is, you are only looking at four Did spaces. Keep rolling for them, for those enhanced gentlemen. I am uh, in factoring that into the base speed of the ship, including the elemental currently blowing into they all sails. The ones too. Oh yeah, no, they're they're really farting it up over here. Um, oh, no. But I, uh, but yeah, you have four spaces of movement. And, you know, diagonal is still counts as one here, so I don't feel... If you have to do, like, a one to the right and one up, you can also do that. So who's moving it? I'll do it. So diagonal also counts as one? Mm-hmm. So if we were to go one, two, oops, two, three, oh, we could do that. That was four diagonals. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Get away! No! Go back! Yeah. Yeah. Stop! Ah. <laughs> Stop! No. Uh, all right. Back to all y'all. The storm, the wind gust has abated this round, so you are back to your full benefits from your buffs. So, if anyone likes to kick us off this time. Flip off Sidon because that was definitely his fault. Go back to the low ship to encourage throwers. My voice based encouragement of 26s. Oh, yeah. You speak to the hearts of those who are fighting, and they push harder. Anyone else? You give me a row, give me a row. A row of. 16. Jesus. There you go. Hey, it's uh, 16 to 16. That's not bad. 13 with the performance? Who knows? God, Maybe that's like the you lowest need. you can roll. I know. Without it being a one. That was an three, astral two. Like three times. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Defera has a question. Defera has a question. I hope I have an answer. How long ago was the rest that we took? Uh, earlier today. So not very quickly. All right, that answers my question. You had a short rest. Right, but I can do a thing after a short rest, but it has to be very close after the short rest. So never mind. So it's been a while. I wanted to have like retroactively have done a thing if that was part of your prep, then you could have absolutely have done that. I'm fine with that. We're all just uh, leveled up and fresh, so. All right, so we'll wing it. Um, she's just gonna do a thing and maybe see if it's helpful, but again, who knows? I can cast one divination spell without expending a spell slot. Um, so she's going to attempt to, and it has to be one. It does. It's not one that I don't think she has to have prepared, right? Or like learned. It's just one that she can do because she has to be able to, am I correct? Is this, sorry, this is from your... It's for fate bidding or whatever. Fate's bidding, here. I have the, um, I have the book here, so I can pull it I don't remember quick. it all, and I don't... No, you're... this is why I'm, hey, this is why I have the books on me. All right. Uh, fate's for telling, fate's bidding, okay. Fate's bidding. Uh, you can cast one divination spell without expending a spell slot immediately after completing a short or a long rest. And if you do so, you gain temporary hit points equal to your warlock level. And you must use a spell that you could normally cast, and you must have the necessary material components. So when it says a spell I can normally cast, it has to be one out of my list, correct? Yes, one of the spells you could normally cast, so something on the warlock spell list. Okay, check. All right, all right, all right. So would call lightning count? That's not divination. Fuck! All right, I had a feeling, because that, that's something else. All right, never mind. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's great, but yeah, unfortunately, that's evocation. Um, so, good thought. Unfortunately, yeah, uh, if you were like, ah, oh, let me take a quick break. It's too sunny. <sighs> um, uh, but if you wanted to cast something and have some temporary hit points, you absolutely can. Anyway, um, uh, we have had some rules. Is there anything else? I think, um, oh, getting better, Defera. Unfortunately, the performance ain't gonna quite cut the cheese as it is, but that's seven more spaces of movement, everyone together. Oh. I'd like to take a shot 
Absolutely. Um, um, so, things oh. about the ultras. Jeez, mm-hmm. Louise. All right, one more page over. All right, the ballista is at a plus seven uh, to hit. Dealing 3d10 piercing damage. Twenty-one to hit. Twenty-one will hit. Roll me some damage. How much was it? Uh, three ten. Boo. Ooh, only eight on the roll, which is not going to pass the damage threshold for these ships. So the uh, bolt will go and then kind of slide through and maybe have, have graze the varnish off of the wood um, on, on some of the paint. But otherwise, unaf- leave the boats unaffected. Uh, have you done your movement? You did? All right, perfect. Um, this ship is going to spend its movement to get closer, and that is when Chandras is going to um, do a thing and create a block of ice <laughs> just off the off the side, like setting a pick. Um, I'm exaggerating the size of it. He can't quite conjure it that way. But uh, assume a giant th- iceberg suddenly uh, appears and stays standing in the ocean. I uh... <laughs> reverse Titanic. <laughs> this time the iceberg's back, and but it's here to save the boat. Um, and I'll move the rest of the. Baddies, they are getting closer. Um, and some initial shots will begin hailing in. Um, I'll just roll to see if anything uh, occurs with that. Give myself a quick second here. Uh, oh, that might do something. And that might do something. Cool. So, some initial shots are coming through. First one. Uh, will actually uh, connect. You'll see uh, one of the ballista shots from uh, this boat will kind of soar and um, and embed itself into the front, uh, the prow of the ship here, dealing... Uh... Oh, wait. Wait. Wait, I might be dumb. I think I'm dumb. Don't quote me, I'm dumb. You're on the... You're unaffected. Never mind. It looks like it's about to embed itself and then plinks off. Uh, the second one will not do that much damage. That was a scary number. Uh, also, similarly, uh, the shots are uh, bouncing um, or are otherwise being deflected off of the strong hull here. Uh, though, of course, that is uh, not fun as uh, the ship is tough. The squishy crew are not. So soon you get out of here the better but it's back to all of y'all well, so they're about two squares away or three squares away i'm gonna keep uh keep the encouraging word all right keeping an eye out and keeping the keeping it pouring on if folks just want to keep rolling stuff you can do so and we'll just keep this moving. i must persevere the probability is best with this roll <laughs> Yes. Let's roll. Bro. Oh my god. <laughs> 15. How? I need to not stop just because I'm rolling, told, rolling good at this if, part. <laughs> if I told you if I told you it's not as bad as you think it is with a and maybe the DR I'm looking for is like twelve ish. That's fair. Maybe oh it's not so bad. Um Thanks for letting me know how many times I failed tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say nothing. Um, I failed every time. Well, hey, you, you knew that right from the get-go, though. There wasn't a mystery. <laughs> um, uh, Eliana, are you taking another shot? I'm just making sure with my spell list if there's anything. But of um, course. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, take it, shot. even if even if it's just another, you know, if you just want to go down and, and try and like get people going or whatever, help um, guide folks the, through a pilot. She's not the charismatic type. There's, you know, you can do survival and help navigate. 
These are tough seas and waters. Well, this is way better. This is a 25. That will absolutely hit. So roll me 3d10. See if yeah. you can break the damage threshold. I'm on, baby. I'm 11. Ooh. No, unfortunately, again, oh. that will skid and uh, clink off there. Um, I need to enhance these ballistic bolts. Well, normal boats absolutely would get, like, destroyed by it. Would be, like, really good for taking these down. Taking boats down. These are giant boats. Um, oh wait, wait, rolled 11, and what was the one you rolled before? 8, yeah, okay. Their DR is lower, their their damage reduction, their damage threshold is lower than yours, but it's still pretty high. Um, if only I had one more level, Turk. You know, I just gave you a level. At some point, you'll be another, happy with the level one. you're at. Another one. Okay. Another one. <clears throat> All that together, it's another 7 spaces of movement. Okay, I'm doing it. Get us out of here. Go there. Thank you. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, yeah, good uh, luck with your ice fall. <laughs> yeah, I. You're gonna have to uh, one, two, three, and like begin. Moving this way, which is going to cause a sharp turn here. Yeah, they're going to have to no drift this shit so they don't smash their car. Yeah, their car. Their ship. Their car. You wouldn't steal a ship. You wouldn't download a ship. I absolutely would download a ship. That would be awesome. I would download the shit out of a ship. I'd ship it. 3D printing it. Piece board by board. All right. Uh... It would take forever. It would, but it would definitely fulfill Turk's dream of uh, figuring out the... If you replace this entire ship board by board, is it still the same ship? It's an important on. question. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I'll say this with confidence, that uh, it, at this point, you're at a far enough pace, and with the lead ships having to take evasive actions uh, that will cause them time and distance, I... You feel pretty confident you'll be able to make it out within the next round, even without, um... Even with just leaving this to your crew and keeping an eye on anything that might pop up closer. Which is good, obviously, until you actually see the rest of the fleet just breaking off their pursuit. You figure... The Order of Sidon... Shouldn't, uh... Well, I guess this is the Sidon's fleet, more less of its religious order and more of its literal military arm of a potential invasion force. Uh, but they shouldn't give up so easily. Um, Ilyana, you're on one of the uh, ballistae, so you're probably near the um, the front of the ship. Mm -hmm. uh, you are going to see a Pain. large figure Pain. walking on water on the ocean towards you. Jesus. It's Jesus. <laughs> no. Holy shit, the Jesus of Nazareth? Oh my god. I am the way, bitch. <laughs> uh, <God. laughs> um. <laughs> Someone clip that, please. I am the way, bitch. Oh, I want that on a shirt. <laughs> With like a really cool Jesus. Like you're yeah, behind it. That or just like him in like a monk pose, just like I am the way. I am the way, bitch. <laughs> Excuse me, Jesus, you're in the way. Fuck you, I am the way. <laughs> um That's from something I'm stealing now. Anyway, um I gotta find some music I set for this really quick, but the you seas around this uh figure are calm. But you quickly see the waters begin to pulse around them. Uh... Oh, yeah, no, would you call anyone's attention to this, or are you just looking at uh, awestruck at a uh, figure? Um, as much as I'd want to, as the player, I feel as the character, she's more focused on what's in front of her rather than making everybody else be focused on it. Like, we still need to GTFO. Um, so other than maybe El Capitano, it's 
like what the hell's... I... Uh, well, uh, you call back to the captain. What is what's your report to El Capitano? Uh... There's someone in front of us. In Literally, someone's walking on the water. You turn and look at them again, and they are now riding a wave quickly towards you all. And will uh, stand now on the on the figurehead. They are twice your size, and very quickly you're able to clock the large, uh, the painted face of someone within the Order of Sidon, but the third eye um, on their forehead marks them as, um, well, maybe somewhat closer to the source than you've seen before. <laughs> Is this the Oracle's Chosen? Do I recognize the him. voice from below decks? <laughs> Doesn't sound like Sidon. Okay, but good. It's, but it's got that same, like... Got the Sidon, okay. Uh, since I'm up here, I'm just gonna scream back. Who wants to know? Your impudence does not surprise me. But so that you are aware, I am Golurom, son of Sidon. Your name's Gorilla? I will see you drown first. <laughs> Understandable, have <everybody. laughs> you? Dress like a dick, we'll beat you like a dick! Wait. Wait, what? Oh. What? That's kind of weird. No. Just <laughs> fuck you! No. Eloquent as ever, cousin, or half brother. Wherever you are, runt, I can smell you. The failure that stinks to you whenever mortal mother you had. As one who is not so bound by the oath of peace, or rather, knows how to work his magic in ways that matter, I felt it only fair you strike at the heart of our forces. Why don't I return the favor? Does he appear threatening? Like, is he planning to, like, open a can of whoop ass right now? He is just, you know, in, like, a flowing, fine garment uh, that seems to move and undulate with the sea, but also crackle, like, the, uh, the, uh, like, designs of thunderclouds seem to shift and move about uh, on him. Uh... His face, despite being whipped by water and wind, the paint does not fade or blemish. Uh, he appears to just be in totally in control of the situation here, but... Worry not, warriors. It'll not be I who takes your life, though. I might be taking your precious little ship to those things that call themselves gods on board, I assure you. Your lifeboats will be left untouched. The oath will be preserved. Yeah, what's up? Oh, sorry, is that a question for like me as a DM or me? In you as a DM. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, while he's talking, is there a way that I, as my bird, can attempt to fly up this guy's nose while he's talking? Make. A See what happens. Make a what? Make a make an attack roll. See what happens. Okay. With your uh, simfe, yeah, so, I got it. It should be in the uh, in the allies section. Owl, then, sweet baby, ro robot owl, near the top. Yes. So uh, you can just make a roll of the talents in this case. I'm trying to see the actual stat block. Oh, uh, so if you go to Allies, and then click on Alden, 
Uh, you should be able to click character sheet from there. Should have access to that. Oh, in this one, I'm looking through D and D Beyond like a. Oh, Maybe. sorry, on the roll twenty. Yeah, <laughs> now, all the stats for for Alden are are in the uh, roll twenty. Thank you. No worries. Yeah, so you want to make a talent attack there. So it's one d twenty plus four. Eight for nostril. Hmm. 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna check something really quick here. At least um, I'd like to be annoying because he sounds like he's being really rude, and I don't like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll something really quick. Um. How much HP does was does uh, Alton have? I don't like the way you're talking to me right now. I think it's 13? 21. 21, okay. Better. Uh, yeah, uh, you will see Alden fly up and towards him, and he is going to grab with his large hand, and you're going to hear a <laughs> and a crackle of thunder as he drops gears onto the ship. I leave this to you guys. I'll make it interesting. And he seems to fall back. And then as he hits the water, seems to just take on a purely uh, aquatic form as the sea around you now completely shifts. A storm sprung from nothing. As also you hear the sound of a dragon overhead. So, what I'm going to need y'all to do is a couple of things, because I'm going to do a thing here. Um, what I uh, need from y'all is I'm going to move you over here to this map, because there's going to be two aspects to this. On the one hand, it looks like there might be a fight. On the other hand, I gotta, sorry, I gotta go to my, my little nasty, my little nasty sheet over here. Um, I had it down and then I lost it, but I'll find it again just for y'all, because you're special. Okay, um, where is it? Hurricane, perfect. Um, as, um, the massive storm roils around you, um, you, I'm gonna need somebody to be helping as a kind of like bonus action on their turns to help navigate this or if you can just leave that up to Manistokos that can be uh, personally fine but waves are whipping and pulling now across the ship uh, so every I'll, I'll say it like this every other turn is going to be difficult terrain I'm going to move y'all I moved y'all over to the battle map uh, feel free to I'll, I'll, I'll drag y'all on actually as well I'll be helpful um, before we um do a thing, uh, Leo and Eliana, and you let me know because I know there was uh, some folks who you're gonna want to maybe keep down below deck, um, and uh, others. Uh, so move yourself to where you would be. Um, I will have some folks around here. You guys could have been moved up further. Like, where I'm putting you is by no means where you have to be. Um, because those of you on the Blistai are going to get one shot here to shoot at Argon. Um, before she deposits her buddies. And then it gets interesting. So why don't you uh, both make me uh, a d20 roll plus seven. I'm on the one in the back, on the butt. 
Yeah, if you want to turn there, it's a bit hard with the sails in the way. Okay. Um, Otherwise, I can just wait and hold it until I see someone. Yeah, again, um, shooting onto your own ship might be difficult, but by, by all means, if you feel confident enough uh, in your abilities, I completely encourage it. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so I'm seeing an 18 and a 20. Uh, those will both hit. So roll me some damage. Nice. There we go. What do we get? 24. And, uh... Sorry, an 18. Sorry, 13 will not hit. No, 20. You did the plus 7. Duh, sorry. So, 44 damage already going in. Nice. Uh, it will take time. They do have the loading property, I believe. Um, kind of just makes sense, but I can double check that. However, more importantly, uh, you will watch as a silver dragon swoops down in each of its claws. I had deposits a minotaur onto the deck. Oh. I can speak minotaur. That's rad. Then you're going to understand all the terrible things that I'm about to say to you. Um, okay. And on her back is Commander Guys, your buddy, your friend. Of oh, fucking course. Come on. Wait, the where the fuck is Chandra? <laughs> Commander God. Uh, Chandra's went below deck. Oh. Because. Coward. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I. Is there anyone else you'd like to be up on deck here? <gasps> the wooden people throwing is the problem. No, we did see the fleet was, was turning off. You need at least. So you could. This, this is a, if we don't need him to roam, we might as well pull everybody. Yeah. Oh, situation. Oh, yeah. All hands. Sure. Um, let me know and I'll, I'll, I'll drag him on and you can uh, place okay. it there. I'm fine with an all hands. I agree. Uh, all right. Blowbug's on the board. Folon's on the board. I... I... Leo, do you want Nikia up here? Uh, yeah. Okay. Baby dragon's oh, on the board. I don't know how you said that. <laughs> I'm just asking questions. Okay. Okay. That's all. I'm just a question guy. Okay. What's up? Oh, I forgot that we have the Ryan's Oh yeah, Steros Jenkin. Um, so yeah, I'll. Uh, I'm just putting them. I'm just putting them on the board. Feel free to place them wherever you want. Um, but. After that, I'm gonna need a uh, little initiative. Uh, okay. Yeah. God. Yes. Uh, oh. This is not how this can go. Mile uh. upon me, dice. Good okay. dice. Ooh. Alright, well, um... This is gonna be... gonna be interesting. I got Bulldog. Oh, I don't know, I guess it doesn't matter that much, but it just rolled a straight d20 when I have an initiative of a plus four, but whatever. I would also like to say that Steros has the 22. Defera has three. <laughs> um, oh, those didn't populate. Uh, I'm sorry, here, I'll add those on. Um, 22 for Steros. And... Left the tokens, but it didn't do the thing. It's okay. Oh, you're on the board. I'm adding them on. So, all right. Uh, I think it's everyone. Steros, Sephira, Therenos, Bulbug, uh, Argus, Leo, 
Minotaur is Folon, Eliana, Gaius, Farah, Calliope, and four kill. Yep. And it should technically be a five. For some reason, beyond 20 is just like, I wonder if we didn't use your bonus. Yeah, power. mine's also supposed to be a. Mine's supposed to be a six. Okay, I will uh, hit the descending order button again, but that still puts us as Defera is up first. Oh, sorry. Defera, that was weird. You were at a. You're on the board twice. Steros well, is up first. Steros the Jenkan is up first. Yeah. Time to blast him. Or choose yeah. him out if you want. I don't know. No, no. Yeah, I'm gonna do the, the thing. Oh, where am I going? Don't take that. Uh, okay, I should have did this when we were trying to sort this out. I'm sorry, I was trying to figure it. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, he's gonna stay back a smidge. Uh, and do three ranged attacks. Um, Who are you targeting? We're gonna go with this guy right here first. This one. Sorry, ping one more time. Uh, that is Bullbug. Oh, that's Bullbug. Just kidding, not oh, that shoot, guy then. Bullbug. This guy, here we go. It's okay, I know all Minotaurs kind of look alike. Oh, I hate it, no! That might be my no, cousin. Never. Uh. It's fine, oh, you never really <laughs> talked a whole bunch. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you're fine. Pew, pew, pew. Hang on. There's one. Yo, nat 20. Nice. There's two. And there's three. Yo. There's All the right. good roll. Uh, right. So this is against the Minotaurs. Uh, those will all hit. So roll me some damage and a critical for the first one. Okay, so... Oh, this feels like I'm getting ripped off, but that's fine. No, I mean... Okay. It's, uh, D6s, so... Oh, okay. All right, um, and then that. minus 16, alright, and it was to this guy, right? Yep, this guy. Alright, cool. Uh, all right, he blast, blast, blasts, and um, as that one kind of is getting up, is already kind of hit pretty hard. It looks fairly tough, though, so he'll be uh, quite the uh, target to take down. Uh, bring us to Threnos. Like where he's standing. Yeah, you chose quite the spot to set yourself up. Uh... The first thing Thernos is going to do is look around uh, quite desperately and uh, flex his wings and a very small um, feather is going to appear right above Jerkface's, Captain Jerkface, apologies, head and a uh, mind sliver is going to drive into his brain. I need an intelligence save, please. Okay. That's going to be a 14 from him. 14 fails my DC of 16, which means he suffers seven points of psychic damage All and right. subtracts 1d4 from the next saving throw that he makes before the end of my next turn. Okay. I am then, as a bonus action, going to quicken a spell using my meta magic feat to cast a confusion. All right. This 10-foot no. circle of confusion will be centered... I measured it a couple times. There, oh, I don't have it on broadcast. Apologies, broadcast. I, I saw it. It will be centered thusly. And I need saving throws from two Minotaurs, a dragon, and boss baby. Uh, intelligence? Uh, sounds right. Uh, Just double check. Confusion could be wisdom. Confusion could be wisdom. Confusion's wisdom. Okay. It's a uh, great small though. Yeah, that is going to be an 18 and a 13 from two Minotaurs. One up top is 18, one on the bottom is 13, so it'll be confusled. Um, I'll find the appropriate. There you go. I uh, let's see. Tell you what, I'm going to Silvery Barb's the one that did 18. Okay. 
That's rude of you. <laughs> like, you did pretty well. <laughs> and he rolled a 17. We are with disadvantage now. 11. Right? Oh, we had disadvantage. Oh, wait, no. You didn't hit the Minotaur with Mind Slipper, right? No. no. I hit Gaius with Mind Slipper. So he'll have a minus 1d4 from this next save. Uh, so let's do a d4 off of 20 for 17 from Gaius. Sure, he passes. Um, and it was a natural 20 for Argyle. Fourth level spell affecting a single Minotaur, yes! To be fair, they rolled pretty well. Are you sure it wasn't with disadvantage on the on the reroll for though for silver bars? Um, no, it's just you reroll the d20 and you take the lower. Take the lower of the two total, or uh, of, of the two rolls. So of the two rolls. The first okay, one, and like, oh, that's a success. Okay, gotcha. Okay. All right, cool, cool. cool. Retroactive um, disadvantage. But... Gotcha. All yeah, right. Anyway. Um, cool, cool. But I do get to give advantage to someone. Yeah, I'll just get Brennos to finish. Uh, Renos is very concerned. Was really hoping that would go better than it did. Yeah. Really has to assess his options and decides that getting... ganked in the face once by a Minotaur is much better than 17 times by a dragon. <laughs> so he's gonna start running. Uh, 10, 15... 20, 25, 30. I believe I'd get a attack of you, opportunity. You certainly do. All right. Uh, that's going to be a 15 to hit. Uh, reaction shield. All righty. It, you see the great axe ping off of the magical force. As oh. Thurno scampers away on all fours. <laughs> <laughs> well... Argus is gonna go next, and he's gonna come over here, bringing Gaius with her, because he is on her back. They're buddies. Um, and this looks like a nice 30-foot cone, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Cool. Um. Hmm. Let's freeze every oh let's let's yeah. Yeah. Constitution saving throws, everybody. And Thernos has advantage. Thernos is gonna need it. Jen, oh. quickly sir. What's up? Yeah. So um for fate's foretelling, before the roll is done for whatever an attack is. I have an ability to replace that with the rolls that I said earlier. Yes, um, though this is a breath weapon, it is kind of a spell effect. Well, you know, it's like a save thing, so this is not the dragon attacking. Um. Nils cheap, but fine. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, you all have made the saves. Right. So... <laughs> man, parts, man. I'll take this off. I almost though. never use it. So I feel bad. So... Okay. Uh. Price. No, no. Uh, it's gonna be 26 points of cold damage to you all. Oh, and can I get a save for uh, Nikia, please? Uh. No. Okay. Don't forget you have your aura. That oh, that's so people. important. Your aura adds plus charisma to all saves. So okay. your D&D Beyond Shield will automatically do it for you, but everyone else around you, I think, in 10 feet, get your aura. As a paladin. <laughs> Nikki, no! Oh, no! No. Oh, not like that. Killed the dragon already. Mickey is going to take 53 points of damage. Oh, they're down. Well, yeah, I figured Mickey is down. Um, 
Now, they have a total of 32, so I don't believe that is outright. Yeah, no. Done, so. Bye. Oh, she's up way too close to it, though. I don't like that. Well, you know, your dragon, because of your bond, can, like, survive for a bit, but it's going to be a spell to bring him back up. For all intents and purposes, for the rest of the combat, unless, like, healed through an intensive ritual, Nakia is out. Oh, speaking of, I will use my reaction. Oh, nice. oh yes. I still have one vision of danger left. Okay. Um, so I will get to move up to my speed as my reaction to cast a beneficial spell that only targets my imperiled ally. <laughs> Which I feel like is a little imperiled because they failed the saving throw or took and or took damage. Yeah. Um, I will give Nikia a second level Cure Wounds. Add another five to that because of my, uh, healing vapors. My drugs are good! <laughs> so, ni 19 HPs to the baby. So, 19, um, here, wait, 23 minus 19, 34, uh, Nakia has a total of 32, and I'll just let it be 19, as, uh, Nakia, what, drop to zero, healing comes in, brings to 19. All right, all set then. That was, a uh, strong first opening, good job. Um, all bugs up, though. We'll not charge the confused one, but we'll cross over to charge the other one over here. Oh, uh, sounds good. Uh, oh, bog. If I remember right. Uh, yeah, it's better to do a core attack. Great axe attack or times two attack. than a core attack. It's just when I was checking. Uh, well, one ten and one critical hit. Well, the ten won't do it, but the critical will. That is twenty-eight yeah. slashing damage. Oof. All right, yeah. What about coming in, knocking away the axe, the first one, then ooh, digging deep into the side of that minotaur. Uh, and actually gonna shuffle over that way just a little bit. All right, all good. Oh. Actually, one more. There we go. Okay. Uh, Leo, you're up. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I'm going to make sure uh, uh, Nikia is okay. And uh, with the little heal, I feel a little bit better. And <laughs> I head over and uh, attack a dragon. Okay. Take a swing. Take a swing. 14. 14 ain't gonna cut it today. Cool, let me do it again. Oof, nine. Believe it or not, a nine also isn't gonna do it, unfortunately. Yeah, I think he's just mad. Fine, yeah. As you, uh, as you swing on and strike, Imagine my surprise that we were somehow related! I guess every family has a garbage branch. One yeah, better that's... pruned. Boo! Uh, <laughs> it's the Minotaur's turn. Uh, one of them is confused. Uh, I gotta pull up the confusion table. I got uh, one yeah. D10, oh, please. Absolutely. We're all one. I'll try. Damn. Three. Three. Rain, the creature the doesn't move or take actions this turn. All right, it'll be. Something was go in a random direction, go off the fucking boat. <laughs> so was I. I know, it may, right? It may make a wisdom save at the end of its turn. All right, well, it'll do that. Um, 
It rolled a 14, which I believe doesn't do it. It doesn't. So, well, what about now? All right, well, fine. Um, the other ones, though, this one will go at Bulbug. Uh, this guy will go here. And why don't we stay on the Pretty Bird Man? Um, oh, so, crap. That was just a second. I took a butt ton of damage. Oh, yes. Uh, though not as much damage you could have taken. Uh, 11 plus 8 is 19. Uh, half the damage. What was that? 20? It was 20, 26. So it was 13. You're good. So I passed. Yeah. Yeah. All set. Perfect. All right. Uh, well, we'll see if we can't uh, change that. First one's coming in on Bulbug with a similar Great Axe strike. It will be reckless for advantage. Um, so it'll be a 20 to hit Bulbug. That will hit Bulbug. Okay. Uh, for 18 slashing. Uh, uh, Bulbug says he has an AC of 40. <laughs> oh, I, I think his sheet, uh, got a little messed up a little bit sometimes. Um, the, like, the values of it, that's not, uh, accurate. That's not accurate. And he's got an AC of 16 and a movement speed of 40. Um, his sheet is... I'll, I'll, I'll correct that, don't worry. That's fine. All right, how much damage? Sorry. Um, that is, uh, 18 slashing. Uh, and this one's going to strike at Leo with advantage, recklessly, 24 to hit Leo. That hits. Um, I feel like it's the first time I've hit you in, like, three sessions. <laughs> For 20 slashing damage, too many Christmas trees. All right. Uh, and Thranos, also a 20 to hit you. Yeah. 15 slashing sure. damage. Uh, all right, Eliana Legide. All right. God damn it. Walking down the steps. Very upset about attacking a child. Yeah, well. Um, we're upcasting the good shit. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Alrighty, uh, you can, can you give yourself a, uh, perfect, thank you. Uh, so let's make some wisdom saves and see what happens. Um, I gotta stop, like, actually closing this guy's sheet. Uh, that is going to be an 11 from Gaius. Uh, well, he's not in your zone. Eh, I'll call it because he's on the dragon. Yeah, I'll be nice. Um, <laughs> so he'll fail that. Uh, dragon wisdom is going to be a 5, so also. And two minotaurs, uh, 15 out of 17. So. 17. One of them makes it. The one that was attacking Thronos uh, made the save. So everyone else is going to take 18 radiant damage. Yippers. Alrighty. Um, not enjoying that part of the fiesta bowl. Um, and it's half on a save or just not on a it's save? It's half on a success. Perfect. All right. So only nine to the other one. Okay. Anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Yeah, I'd like to do so many other things, but right now I can't. Alright, what can you do on your turn? If there's nothing else, then it'll be full on, and Bortilt will be up next. Uh, yeah, I can't do any of my bonus actions, so that is it. Alright, uh, full on. Time to show them how right. much quality. <laughs> the glory! <laughs> that is full on. I'm gonna, you know what, I'm just gonna try. I'm just gonna try. Um, but which one do I want to try to hit is the thing. You know what? I don't think it matters that much. I think I'm just going to try to hit the dragon and see what happens. Oh, um, shoot for the stars. Where's that going to happen is you proc a dragon attack. Eh. He seems busy, or she seems busy over there. But we're just going to try. Busy. We're going to try. I'm going to go for a longbow attack. Nope. Uh, ten will unfortunately not do it. All right, second attack. Ten. Ten. 
That wouldn't hit the Minotaur either. I don't feel bad anymore. <sighs> Unfortunately. Okay. okay. And that's uh, the most that he can do. All right, four killed. All right, so I'm gonna run up like this. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> that's where I can get. Which brings this cute little minotaur right here, right into my rage, or range. Sorry. <laughs> um, um, however, for my bonus action, I will scream out my Amazonian battle cry, which is, oh hell yeah, uh, similar to that of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh, and I'm going to throw uh, at this little minotaur guy right here. And I have advantage on him because he is my favorite enemy. Oh, cool. Um, so, sorry, uh, you're th using what to attack? My, my little diskies. What are you? Oh, they have enough range for that? Yes. 80 feet. That's 85. Oh, no! Why would you say that to me? I thought I measured it. No. I'm sorry. Then I'm gonna panic instead. I mean, you could theoretically make the attack, but it would be a disadvantage. So it would be a flat roll because I have advantage against him. There you go. Even and out. Perfect. All right. Nice. Five. Twenty-two. Uh, you want to hit the guy who's confused, though, or do you want to hit him? It's fine. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Uh, 22 and a 15 will both hit, so make me a damage rolls. All right. Eight and 13. Perfect, all right. Uh, those do plink off and somehow make their way around back to you. Uh, I think he is like a really great juggler over long distances. I imagine it's like hitting off of other side, side, sides of the ship and everything. Yeah, um, I'm definitely leaving some dings and a couple masks. Mm. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, Calliope and um, your air elemental will move on your turn. Yeah, I'm trying to find if it takes me. I don't think I have to do like a bonus action. I think it's just acts on its I own. just thought about it for like two seconds and was like, <gasps> um, yeah, no action. Great. Um, so I'm just gonna have it just go ahead and we'll, we'll move him up to the dragon. I currently don't have control of it, though. Um... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. You're yeah. Cool. I just the token. <laughs> I'm just like, I, I am going to, um, oh boy, uh, air elemental in player, uh, can be edited, controlled by all players. Just do that. Perfect. He's gonna drift on up, and he's gonna make two slam attacks at the dragon. Alrighty. Let's see what happens. Hopefully he rolls better than full on, but I am not hopeful. 19. Uh, 19 will hit. Okay, cool, for 14 bludgeoning. Okay. Do twice. I've done that again. Uh, 27 will absolutely yeah. hit for 12. <laughs> Well, let's go. Um, all right, that dragon's okay. bloodied. Ooh, hello. Um, all right. Did, and did then you do two ballista shots into it? The moon. Y'all are a little bit better range. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give Leo a bardic inspiration. Um, with my bonus action. Um, and then with my action, I'm gonna say. Hey Gaius, I read your diary. Have you kissed Sidon yet? Uh, and this isn't vicious mockery like you might think. Since I uttered his name, I am going to cast Wrong With Him Psychic Lance right at him. And I need an intelligence save. An intelligence save? No! He's probably gonna do fine. Oh, yeah. Well, he rolled a seven, but he's gonna use one of his indomitables. Fuck! To get a 19 instead, because that doesn't sound Fuck. very good. You know what? Silvery barbs. Mm. Roll I mean, How many times must we roll? 15. That fails. 
Oh, so right. he's gonna take all of 76 psychic damage, so and he's gonna be incapacitated for one turn. That's just his turn's coming up. I had things well, to do. I need more. I had oh things okay. to do today. It's for some reason like some of the spells are broken today. On oh, sorry. Yeah, just just gonna have to use slash R uh, space yeah. 76. Yeah. So 23 psychic damage. And 23. Incapacitated. All right. Until um. So I'll just my next turn. Start of your next turn. Jeez Louise. Okay. I'm sure that has other lovely things that it comes with. Uh, so that will be his go and done. Defera, you're up. <laughs> well, she's cursing under her breath. Uh, there is still know, a storm about you. Just a general fucking why can't we just have one quiet day on this on on this here thing. Uh, she's gonna go... Shit. There we go. We're gonna move up just a smidge. Uh, and then as she is walking... Let me double check something, because I was doing it and then I stopped. No, that's not gonna work. So, she's going to... Uh, wait to do that. She's just going to... Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm just shy. Uh, she is... Okay, yeah, that's not gonna work. She's just going to take double movement. So that she can get a smidge closer. Uh, that's it. And that's all she can do. Well, uh, remember how I mentioned there was a hurricane going on? Uh, so, Captain Manistokos is going to have to make a, uh, wisdom check with advantage because he does, you know, have a kind of feel for the ship, but, uh, looking to beat a DC-15. Otherwise, things get interesting. As a giant wave comes crashing towards you all, I have rolled a natural one and a three. Well, shit. That giant wave hits the top of the deck unprepared. I need everybody on the board, which is everyone here, to make a uh, make an athletics check. Oh. I will be making it for the others, too. Can I also request that uh, m maybe we replace the dragons with the three yet, or what? The what? Can we make somebody on the other side's strength or whatever you just had us roll? I'm going to get there. Athletics be a three. Yeah. Would you like which one? Would you like to have be a three? Uh, I don't know, team. Are we doing the Gaius or are we doing the dragon? Because I feel like the dragon can just drop, fly away anyway. I'd say the dragon, because Gaius is already incapacitated. He like he already kind of fails. Mm -hmm. Chat. Yeah. All right, we'll go with the dragon. Can I acrobatics instead of an athletics? I need athletics. It is a giant. It is a giant wave sweeping over the ship. It's a matter of holding on. <laughs> okay. Oh okay. Oh, weakling. Everyone who rolled under a 10, a 15 rather. Shit. I need hey, you to move 10 feet this way. Oh no, uh, fall on. Do I, do I slide uh, against this uh, bottom deck thing or what? I, uh, I'd say you'd be swept and not stopped. So keep moving. So up over the top or down it this way? No, no, you up here. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, um, fun facts about Folon. He is, a, oh, in the water. No! So we're just gonna figure that out maybe later. But that Minotaur is gone. 
Um, let me see. Uh, I didn't roll for these guys. Um, sorry, and, and did I get a call on who was getting the uh, three? The dragon. The dragon? All right, the dragon will be moved. Ten, which will take Gaius with. Um, then, heck, who got your silvery barbs at Oh my god, you're so right. I mean, it, it feels weird to, like, do that now, because, like, we already have all of the results. Eh? Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Okay, because, like, obviously I would choose Poa. Well... To maybe re-roll. Alright, give it another... Would you have chosen? Would you have, yeah. I don't know. This sucks. Oh, I forgot to roll for it. Oh, put another point of order, though. It's like, whoever is in range is the thing. Because, like, God, a bunch of y'all who are outside of 60. Yeah, I could always choose Bulldog. I don't know. Out of any of those, like, the more that I'm measuring it out, it makes more sense than choose Bulldog. Because it only has a 60 foot range. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna roll it and see what happens. 18! That's for Fola? Yep. Alright, Fola. Not overboard anymore. Fola's not overboard. Hold on to the side of the boat on the outside. There you go. Um, and you remember what his initiative score was? Oh shit, it was like nine, I think. All right, cool. I'll add him back in around there. I trust you. Oh. Actually, like twenty-five. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> so, like, well, he can go wherever he wants. So I don't think it's actually gonna matter. <laughs> no, no. Um, Steros just got moved quite a bit. I also note that because the waves are just crossing across here and the uh, just crushed across here, it is going to be difficult terrain to move now for this round. Afterward, they will have cleared off. Um, so, yeah. Okay. So difficult terrain is half movement, right? Yes. All right. We're just going to do that anyways. So it'll just put them, like, right here. Well, yeah, okay. Sure, that counts. Just so you know, <laughs> this is the mast. Well, that's what I'm. I was trying to do that thing, and I tried to hit the control where it does, but he's too big, I think. Oh, here, yeah, yeah. like alt. Thank you. There it is. There you, there you go. You can peek no, around. Kidding. You can Scooby Doo the uh, the mast of the ship. Go for it. <laughs> uh, uh, and we're just gonna do a bunch of eye shots at the dragon. All right. Laser beams. Lasers for eyes. Mm -hmm. 20 will hit. A natural one will not, but 22 will also hit, so roll me two hits of damage. Feels. 8 and 12 for 20 is nothing to spit at. Chunking away at this dragon. Uh, Threnos, you're up. You're hanging, you're barely on the ship. Threats is thrilled that everybody moved because it gave a new spot for another confusion. So I'm going to drop confusion on the minotaur that's in the water. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I will uh, mind sliver uh, boss baby. Uh, he's, still, he, he's still incapacitated. So incapacitated, he can't take actions. He can still move and he still reacts and he can still talk. Oh, okay. Just stops oh. his actions. Well, that's good for me. I can have banter. <laughs> uh, so I need an intelligence saving throw from him. Alrighty. Ten. Okay. He takes eight psychic damage. And he's gonna have his. Uh, he's gonna have uh, minus one d4 to his next saving throw. All right. And then I'm going to use more meta magic to quicken another two more points. Uh, quicken another confusion spell, and 
I will drop that in the middle of all the baddies. Yeah, two Minotaur, Ar Argon, and um, <coughs> um, Commander guys. Yep, I found the magic spot. Oh, all the, right. He's got tickle him right there. All righty, Commander Geist has got a 17, but minus a D4 of 1 for 16. Um, Asshole. I know. <laughs> uh, first Minotaur's got a 21 on the roll. Second Minotaur's got a 6. Argon has got a 2. Okay. Oh, oh that's so good. Yeah, Argon is not an advanced enough level dragon to have the ability to say na na na, so... I kept waiting for those to get used up. This game. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Alright. Which which Minotaur failed and which uh, succeeded? The one that's basically on top of Leo right now. Um, the one that succeeded is the one that was over here. Good, because confused he cannot take reactions as I run away. 10, <laughs> 20, 30... <laughs> Very brave. That seems like a safer place Great. for me to be in general. Uh, all right, Argon's turn is confused. Do you have the table ready for me? Uh, go for it. Four. Four. I said go for it, but I didn't actually open it. Oh. <laughs> uh, the creature doesn't move or take actions this turn. All righty, Argon remains stationary. Um. I take that as a win. <laughs> yeah. Does it still potentially recharge a breath, though? Yes. Cool. Yes, it can recharge a breath. I'll do this in front of y'all. Oh, good. Okay. It's breath is back for next time. Son of a... And it will make the save again at the end of this. It'll, she'll make the save again at the end of her turn for an 18. Sure. Uh, but... But she needs turn. to make a wisdom save. Ah, that's right, another wisdom save. For being in a bad place, a seven chimney. Uh, the other was a uh, natural no, twenty. So I rolled this super messed up, but it's fine. Uh, eleven, thirteen, uh, twelve, fourteen damage. Looks yep, like so this this round will be fourteen damage if you fail. Okay, keep that in mind. Uh, bull bug. Bullbug whales on this Minotaur. Appropriate, I'm pretty sure he just saw a whale got tossed up past the ship. <laughs> 10 uh, and 11. Oh wait, uh, that Minotaur it was, was it, reckless. It, it, it was reckless, so you have advantage on the attacks so that here. Is a 21 and a 13. Uh, 21 will connect, the 13 still will not. 22 slashing damage? Bullbug goes to fucking work, alright? Really Bullbug bad. shows up, he punches his card, and he really goes to work, okay? <laughs> you ought to write a card kidding. someday. Turk, I thought you were gonna end your sentence really short and just say Bulldog, Bulldog comes to fuck and then you just Please, said more you? to it um, and I was like thank god you changed that. He comes to, he, he's working. Anyway, is that all from Bulldog? You moved up? <laughs> he moved up to be close to the middle of the ship. Alright. Uh, Leo. You're a bit cramped right now, but, uh... Um... There's stairs right here, right? Yes, there are stairs here. Cool, um... There's also a dragon in front of you, um, who recently snapped out of a confusion, and, um... A minotaur who's... The minotaur can't take the reaction, just the other one. Yeah, that's right. It's the only other one I can can take a reaction. <laughs> so I'm trying to, uh, get, uh... Nikia out of the way. Yeah, you can just move Nikia on your turn. Yeah. So, uh, can they, like, run downstairs? They can fly, I'm pretty sure. Oh, they can. Uh, Nikia has, uh, 60 feet fly and 30 feet swim speed. PCC. You can just have them fly up and kind of just, yeah. like, we can say they're up and out of the situation. Okay, hey, let's do that. I imagine there's <coughs> pork holes on the ship could even fly over the side and go through Yeah, you could just fly over it and, and in if you wanted to. Cool. Um, and then, yeah, like, I'm just gonna attack uh, at this uh, Minotaur who's way too close. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta push it off. Um, 18 to hit? 
Uh, it, this one attacked recklessly, so you can strike with an advantage. Bio, 18 will hit, but maybe might as well crit fish, right? 20 will absolutely still hit. Oh, my right. 13 damage for my first attack. 13, alrighty. Do I get advantage in this next attack? Yes. All That's attacks fine. against it. Oh. Natural oh. 20! Yeah! Roll me some damage. There you go. Well, that seems entirely too low. Yeah, it's not adding the crit damage. So. I think, is it? No, it doesn't seem so. Okay. Yeah, no, it's just, he added an extra D8. Yeah, roll an extra D8, and uh, we'll throw that on. Nice. Nice. There you go. Another 19 damage into that. Definitely leaving them bleed bloody. Anything else in your go? No, I think that'll be it for now. Okay. Let's handle some Minotaur uh, first confusion. I rolled a 10. I believe that act is normal. On confusion table. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Um, I'll pull that up so I have it as well. Uh, but I need to make some wisdom saving throws for both of them. Otherwise, I'll take 14, uh, a 7, uh, and a 13. I don't think it's going to pass. It's a 14 DC, if I recall. All right, so 14. Ooh, okay. 14 damage to both of them. Uh, that one's not looking great. But uh, this one is a smart-ish. Oh, and oh, you've triggered my trap. <laughs> take your swing with advantage. Hell yeah, I will, brother. <laughs> Get him. 14 oh. is meets it beats it. Ooh. Nice, 10 damage. Right. 10, alright. Uh, they are going to try and uh, give you a strike. Uh, with Reckless, it'll be 25 to hit. All right, for 24 slashing damage. Ah. Yeah. Oh, hey. Now you know where Bug gets it. You're all set. Um, and then this one's against Leo. Uh, also with a, a, a advantage, you'll be another 24 to smack you, which I believe still does, for another 21 yep. slashing to hit Leo. 21 slashing into Leo. Um, this Minotaur down here... Otherwise, uh, Disconnected will be engaged in a Minotaur duel. Um, and we'll roll an 8 to hit. So we'll not hit Bullbug. Nope. Even though it attacked recklessly. Cool! Anyway, Eliana's up. Yeah. <laughs> God, I feel like I should do something different. Gotta do what you gotta do. We're gonna attack this guy. Did he attack recklessly? Uh, yeah. Roll, roll to, uh... They, all, they both attack recklessly, so the one who just attacked you or the one who attacked Leo? The one that attacked Leo. Okay, yeah, he's looking a lot weaker, so why don't you... 22 for 8, absolutely will hit. He's still standing, but, uh, barely. Oh, and I gotta make a, uh... Wisdom save for him at the end of his turn. He rolled a five. Okay, he'll stay confused. Uh, twenty-six for six. Uh, twenty-six for six. All right. That was half of his remaining health, but he's still up. Damn. Oh. Uh, that's all I got. All right, full on, hanging on by a thread. Oh. Well. He, he knows at this point that he needs to get away from the side if that happens. Uh, I'm just gonna, like, I don't know, I'm just gonna move up one towards, like, the middle of Alright, reminder, it is difficult terrain. Oh, he has, like, 50 feet. He's got, feet. I know he's got movement, I just wanna, yeah. Uh, yeah, he got movement for days. Um, 
And you know what? He's just gonna take two shots at Gaius, I guess. All right. I don't know. Go for it. Why not, right? Why not? 17. 17 will meet it beat it. For nine. Nice. All right. <laughs> 12 will do nothing. 12 will not hit, unfortunately. One hit? Let's go. One hit for Folon. Yeah. All right. Borg Guild, you're up. Most excellent. So I'm going to move up to here. You need to do no, difficult terrain action. as well. What was that? Difficult terrain as well. Deck, calculate in. Bonus action, Zephyr Strike. Fuck your difficult terrain. I don't yeah. like it. <laughs> All I was right. gonna do it, but either way. All right. Oh wait, no, it's not Zephyr Strike that does that. Uh, you move like the wind, the spell, and no, it's not that. Hang on, there was one that let me move through it. I believe you. There's, there's certainly probably a spell that allows there's you to say fuck you. But... Oh my god. Ah, sorry, no, it's just who I am, uh, as a person. While uh, moving through non-magical difficult terrain, it costs me no extra movement. Oh, cool! Yeah, hell yeah! Fuck your nature. I can move through that just fine. Alright, go for it. <laughs> Anyways, I'm also going to cast a Zephyr Strike as I run. Is that what you're going to Yeah, there. And then I'm going to hit this guy twice. Alright, go for it. No, this will roll the advantage, but I don't know how to roll with advantage because I don't know how the internet works. Hold <laughs> shift. Two. Uh, well. Wait, where did the fourth one go? There, there it, is. it is. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, the, you only get two hits. Yes. Yep. So roll me some damage. Alright, that's uh, And then plus an additional roll. 1d8 of force damage from my Zephyr Strike. Oh, no. One point! That nice. Minotaur is hanging on by a thread, but uh, that Zephyr Strike could have taken it out. Unfortunately, the, ma the magic dissipating into it is not so much a problem as you thought it was going to be. Um, that's your turn? Yes. And it's going to be Calliope. <clears throat> okay. I am gonna have my friendly elemental friend move over. Here. And do this number again. We're gonna try to hit the dragon twice. Okay. <laughs> Twelve's not gonna do it. No, unfortunately not. Uh oh, twenty-three will definitely 14. for fourteen. All right, yeah, I know. That will absolutely bludgeon into the side of Argon. He's crying out in pain now. Ooh. Um... Okay, I can probably get two. I don't think I can get all three. Oh, I can get all three. Okay. Yeah, all right. With my action, I am going to go ahead and cast Shatter. Why not? Um, I'm gonna need some con saves from. I wait. Hold on. I gotta make sure. I don't think Gaius was in that. Yeah. No. It's yeah, just right. Minotaurs and Argon. No, oh, that Minotaur rolled a natural one, and that one rolled a seven, cause I'm really good at rolling right now. <laughs> uh, Argon though is gonna roll a nineteen. That's good for Argon. There you go. Oh, I didn't realize that I had no second level spells. So I have to upcast that at third level. Um, it's fine. Okay, for some reason it is not finding shit on DD Beyond. I might have to update the thingy. Oh, I'll sorry, yeah. How many D6 yeah, are you rolling? It is 4D8. Alright. I believe if you go to the, the dice thing, it actually, like, it. you can oh, just, like, okay. click that and then it has the numbers already if you just want to click that as well. Up to you, though. 20 damage! Okay! God damn! That's a that good roll. That's a <sighs> good roll. So, that succeeded. I just want to make sure I'm not taking off the Minotaur who's tracking turns because that confused Minotaur 
gets blasted um, out and about, um, and 14 to Argent, even on success, is really gonna hurt. Um, is that your turn? Uh, actually, oh, that's not what I wanted. Whoa. I want a circle, I wanted a line. Um, I'm gonna move up a little bit. Uh, yeah, I can get there. Um, and I'll give Eliana a point of inspiration. What's that? Uh, yeah, that's it for me. Okay. Uh, that is going to end the incapacitation on Gaius, which means I get to actually have a turn with him. <laughs> which is exciting for me for a variety of reasons. Number one being, uh, he is going to throw a javelin of lightning at you, <laughs> Clive. Of course he is. Uh, so... Let's see, uh, 19 to hit, and I need a dex save from your elemental. <laughs> you say lightning. Okay, the question is, the question is, no, I'm not going to silvery barbs so this. I'm just going to take it. Okay. Um, I thought about it, but no. Um, so wait, like, is it dex save from both of us? Or... No, no, just the elemental. You'll be getting hit with the javelin. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. He's kind of pulling yeah. it from the side, um, from a yeah. sheath, and chucking these things around. Is While you're doing that, he is going to chuck a second one at Eliana. I'm going to need a dexterity saving throw from Leah. For a 19 to hit Eliana. And then a third one will be going towards Thronos. Where is he getting all these fucking javelins of light? <laughs> it says he gets to make three attacks. This is natural 20 to hit Thronos. Oh my god. Man, good thing we had that round that he wasn't doing this shit. Yeah. Okay, so it's a. I see it's a DC 13. Um, air elementals, though. I, yeah, no, we'll resistant. make that with the seven. I just want to make sure uh, damage is resistant to lightning, yeah. so it will take half of this. Uh, 15 is success. Um, so this is going to be, uh, for those who are getting, who are not the targets of the attack, and failed, their save will be taking 15, which means he killed his own Minotaur to make that hit on, uh, well, he's not a very nice guy. Um, so half that if you're resistant, or you passed a DC 13. So I, that looks like Leo, uh, oh, so it'll just do half damage to everyone all around, anyway. Um... So, uh, damage for getting hit. Uh, to Clypey, that is uh, 10 piercing and 12 lightning for 22 total. Okay. Uh, to Eliana, the 19 hit, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, 11 piercing and 13 lightning for 24 total. And then uh, Threnos. Okay, um, 9 plus 4 is 13. Um, Plus 13 for 26, plus 8 for, uh... Don't got a math any more than that. I dropped okay. unconscious. All right. Uh, yeah. He, um... Basically just is chucking lightning bolts, uh, from his hand, effectively. Um... Productive turn, but that's his go. So, uh, top of the round... Uh, no, sorry, Deferra's still up. Uh, Deferra goes then the south round. Sorry, I mixed them with numbers with that Deferra's about to start. Ah, <sighs> unfortunately. So, she's going to move up just a few feet again. But that's all she can really move. Um, and then I think I, you know... I think we're gonna, uh... We're just gonna Eldritch Blast. Uh, cause that's all I can do in the distance. Alright. Let me double check that. Sure, go for it. Yeah, I'll uh, just do you that. Can, you can get a hit on the Minotaur. If that's the plan. Uh, we're just gonna... Oh, you can reach anybody. Whatever. Oh yeah, Eldritch Blast, yeah. Who you want Eldritch Blast? Oh yeah, it has wild range. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do the old dragon. Alright, go for the dragon. Not looking great right now. 
And then, okay, four beans. Bop, 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 bop. Did that go through? No? No. Okay, cool, 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 cool. No, again, here we go. All right, this is going great, guys. Sorry, it seems <laughs> like rolling through um, uh, DD Beyond is not communicating as nicely as possible. Oh, that's a con save. Uh, that's yep. for Calliope. Um, yep. I maintain concentration. All right, good, good, good. I have advantage. Uh, 24 I will absolutely know. hit Argon. Uh, I have to do a second one though, right? Mm -hmm. There two. Absolutely. Uh, 23, we also hit. Whoa, you should just do this more often. This is giving you way better yeah. rules. I mean, it's only time to for the damage. Wait for the damage. Yeah. 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 2d10. Give me, give me oh. some good rolls. This could be. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Not I've seen bad. Well. All right. You blast the backside of this dragon. And you watch as its leg basically, like, nearly detaches from the force. Like, it's been beaten and getting hit on by the air elemental, and you whip energy towards its weaker points. And, um, Argon is looking, turning and, and spinning around like a coiled snake at the source of the strike there. Um, top of the round, the waters are going to recede, but then, um, you're going to see Argon like turn its head and seem to like stare hard at um at uh Gaius and uh you're gonna you're all even gonna hear it speak get us out of here you idiot um and I'm gonna use my villain section to um have Gaius raise his hand Lord of Storms grant us safety and a lightning crash is going to <clears throat> collide um, as a spell goes off and I find the right sound uh, and like they are going to poof leaving nothing but charred remains as you very nearly beat the brakes off of them now it is midnight and that remaining minotaur has two hit points so, I, I'm going to kind of narrate what happens next as you all are like, what the fuck just happened? And then you just hear a ah! sound as Steros just beams that last one to death. When we pick up next time, I'm going to cut the, uh, cut the, cut the sound, cut the music, cut it all. When we join next time, our heroes are not out of the storm as it still continues to rage around them, the immediate danger seems to have been abated. Some losses have been incurred, but they still might be facing dangers. That all being said, they beat the pants off of fucking Gaius and Arden. <laughs> Good. Just, yeah. Anyway, um... I'm gonna not say a lot because I want to get you all to bed on time. I promise all your parents to get you home. Uh, and, um, so yeah, uh, in the order you introduce yourselves, please tell the people who you are, who you're playing tonight, and where the world can find more of your exceptional work. Awesome. Yeah. So, Comrade Crash, I play Leo Dracos, the human paladin. You can just find me here, uh, every other week. Now on to Chrissy. Oh, Chrissy Kvitz. I do things on the internet. At Chrissy Fritz. Next. <laughs> hey everybody, it's me, Sir Hakalai. You know, I'm here. I'm on your screen. And as per usual, I was here with Calliope. I'm not gonna say much because my voice is really starting to give out. Um Find me all over the internet at Sir Hackalot. That's where you're going to figure out where I'm going to be in the TTRPG space next because I tend to wander a lot, do a lot of things, wear a lot of hats, etc, etc. None, none of that is important right now. Um, go to ceasefiretoday.com, free Palestine. I'm going to keep saying it every stream until Palestine is free. Um, but that's me. On over to HP. Hello, I'm Last Point Hero, and tonight I played Thernos, the sorcerer, Demi Titan. I 
I exist in an ethereal sense. Over to Tony. Hey, I'm Tony. I played Eliana. I don't actually exist in the figment of your imagination. Welcome to Solipsism. Uh, you can find me here next time, maybe, but since I don't exist other than the figment of your imagination, it doesn't really count. So I'll go on to Corn Dog. Hey, everyone, it's me, Corn Dog McGraw. You can find me on the internet at <laughs> Corn Dog Fury now. Yep. I'm married, and it's my birthday. Look at me go. Look at me. Look, look. That's the last bit you get. All right, back to you, Turk. All right, yeah. Um, thank you all so much for joining us. I am Turk, or Turk, accented in the various places of the internet. I bounce between here on the Online Roleplay and over on Lost Caravan RPG. Uh, I'm very busy both between those servers. Uh, but every other Monday, I am here. Um, or we have a recording and we can play it, depending on um, if we are uh, working uh, you know, with what we got. Uh, usually, uh, if we are it's for recording, it's due to a blackout for Gaza, of course. Uh, if you are not already aware, uh, there's a lot going on in the world and a lot of really important fights that need fighting and a lot of people that need your love and support and care and uh, free Palestine, Slava Ukraine. I mean, if you haven't picked up this campaign is about uh, beating the brakes off of uh, oppressive forces and being better than the people we were the day before, uh, I don't, I don't know. So, yeah, um, I. Assholes deserve to get hit in the face, uh, and even the gods are bound by Ozen process. Thank you all so much for joining us. Hope to see you next time. Shell, please take us out.